You are listening to Riverfront Sports, and this is Northeast Nebraska High School Athletics, brought to you by Avera, Bank of Hardington, Cedar Security Bank, Doyle Stevens Construction, Farmers and Merchant State Bank, Farmers Pride, Farmers Union Co-op, Gerhold Concrete, Hartelco, Caton International, Cruzy True Value, Moody Motors, Mount Marty University, Northeast Egg Consulting, Northeast Pipe and Panel, Security Bank, Shop Easy, West Hudson Lumber, Weekelman Repair. Now we go live to the action on Riverfront Sports. Good afternoon from North Platte, Nebraska, and the site of today's Nebraska State High School football playoff game. I'm Scott Ork, and I'll be bringing you this Class C2 matchup featuring the Irish of North Platte St. Patrick's High School and the Trojans from Cedar Catholic in Hardington. The Irish come into this playoff contest with an impressive 8-1 record in the, on the season, and meanwhile, the Trojans also have a very impressive 7-2 record. We're going to break down how these two teams got into the playoffs, the keys to victory for both teams. We're going to discuss injuries, and that will play a big part in this contest. We're going to get into that here in just a few minutes. We're going to discuss a little bit of the history of these two schools as well. You're listening to Cedar Catholic Trojan Football Pregame Show presented by Farmers Union Co-op in Hardington. We'll be back after a five-minute break on The Current 94.3. At Caton International in Crofton, Albion, and Neely, they know maintaining your equipment's health keeps it running at peak performance. That's why they carry genuine Case IH lubricants, filters, and batteries for your total maintenance solutions. Achieve longer service and higher performance with OEM lubricants. Maximize your machine's efficiency with Case IH approved filters. Depend on quick starting batteries designed to handle extreme vibrations and temperatures. Visit Caton International in Crofton, Albion, and Neely today and purchase genuine Case IH lubricants, filters, and batteries. Good luck to the Crofton Warriors this season. Did you know that using your debit card to pay in stores, online, or even within apps has never been easier or more secure? Now there's a better way to pay with Digital Wallet from Security Bank, whether at the coffee shop, grocery store, or online. Instead of making purchases using your plastic card, now you can pay with your smartphone, tablet, or smartwatch. Just touch, tap, pay the easy way with Digital Wallet from Security Bank. Ask about it today. Member FDIC. Jerry's Service in Hardington specializes in bulk delivery of premium diesel and oil and quality mobile lubricants. Jerry's Service has transport and route trucks for fuel delivery and they will do custom blending of gasoline to fit your needs. Jerry's Service also has fuel storage tanks in stock with sizes from 300 gallons up to 2,000 gallon capacity. Serving Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota for 40 years, call 402-254-6546 or stop by Jerry's Service in Hardington wishing good luck to the Cedar Catholic Trojans in this year's playoffs. Growing up here in the Midwest, I learned the importance of family faith, hard work, honesty, integrity, and community contribution. All the values you want in a realtor. This is Bridget Whitmire with Lewis and Clark Realty. Whether you're buying or selling, home or business, ag land or investment property in Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota, give me a call and let's get started today. 402-649-0671. Wishing the best of luck to all our players, coaches, parents, and fans in the playoffs. For over 35 years, Cedar Security Bank has been helping people grow their businesses, build their homes, prepare for retirement, and answer financial questions. With locations in Hardington, Wynot, and Fordyce, their expertise is in the financial world, and it just makes sense to talk to the professionals. Cedar Security Bank, where their middle name is Security. Member FDIC. Cedar Security Bank is a proud supporter of all area students and athletes. Stay healthy and have a great season. Football season is here, and Shop Easy South of Yankton has all of your favorite snacks and beverages for the game. So whether you're hitting the road for an away game or just heading down the street to watch the neighbor's big screen, make Cenex your destination for top quality fuel, favorite snacks, and service with a smile. Football season, it's fans. Food, it's community social. Don't show up empty-handed. Football season powered locally at Cenex. Stop in to Shop Easy South of Yankton, owned and operated by the Santee Sioux Nation, and open 24 hours for your convenience. 
Whether building or remodeling, let the professionals at West Hudson Lumber Company help you get started today. From hardware, kitchens and doors, to windows, siding and more, West Hudson has you covered. As a locally owned, independent, do it best member, West Hudson Lumber Company proudly serves the communities of Crofton, Osmond, Bloomfield, Niobrara, Wausau, Randolph, Pierce, Plainview and Norfolk. West Hudson is a proud supporter of all area students and athletes and wishes all the kids, teachers, coaches and parents a healthy, thriving school year and sports season. It's time for playoffs. If you can't make it to the game, bring the party to your kitchen with Whirlpool Appliances from Cruzy Trevalue in Hardington. Stop in and view the new black Whirlpool fingerprint resistant stainless steel appliances. Hide fingerprints and smudges with steel that wipes easily clean. Your guests will love the look and you'll love the features on these great new appliances. Spend less time cooking and cleaning and more time cheering on your favorite teams. With help from Whirlpool at Cruzy Trevalue in Hardington. A proud supporter of Hardington students and athletes. Good luck in the playoffs. What does your phone and an auto show have in common? When you go to BillionAuto.com, everything. Start searching over 7,000 vehicles instantly. Chevys, Kias, GMCs, Toyotas, Fords, Hondas, Rams, and much more. Plus, negotiate your best deal on all pre-owned vehicles and apply for credit pre-approval all within a matter of minutes. 17 new car brands and thousands of used cars all in the palm of your hand. It's like an auto show every day at BillionAuto.com. All applications accepted. Not all will be approved. Don Peterson and Associates has over 50 years of real estate experience in Nebraska from residential, commercial, farms, and acreages. Don Peterson and Associates can provide guidance to help you succeed. The right real estate professional can make all the difference. Call Terry Wilkerson, Jane Seiler, or me, Deb Addison, at 402-254-9700. The agents at Don Peterson and Associates are proud supporters of all local students and athletes. and Associates. Welcome back here to North Platte, Nebraska. Scott Ulrich here, all set for the pregame show, sponsored by Farmers Union Co-op. Farmers Union Co-op in Hardington, no matter what you drive, fuel up at Farmers Union Co-op, providing excellent service for over 90 years, a proud supporter of our area students and athletes. Let's talk a little bit how Cedar Catholic got here to this contest. They are back in the playoffs again. It seems like year after year, Coach Chad Cotto brings his squad into the playoffs, and this year is no exception. They are on a roll they started out against Class C1 O'Neill. Very solid performance right out of the gate. 26-0 and 0 was the score out of that one. And then they came again with Battle Creek, another C1 school who is ranked number 12 in Class C1. That was their loss of the season. First one that came out for their loss was a 24-7 a loss down there in Battle Creek. Then followed up with victories against Takema Herman, 48-6. And then a victory it was by forfeit as they just did not have enough players, and that was against David City. 69 to nothing, BRLD. And then number 16 ranked Crofton, they got a victory. That was a tough, hard fought victory, 20 to 6. And a little note of Crofton, that game will be broadcast later on tonight on the Riverfront Sports app at 7 o'clock, I believe 6.45. Uh, Tell Tanner will be bringing Crofton football on the Riverfront Sports app. I'll give another reminder later on when we get a little closer to that game time. But that is a 7 o'clock kickoff, and that is in Norfolk tonight against Norfolk Catholic and Crofton. And then Cedar Catholic followed up with another victory. Oakland Craig, probably the most decisive, uh, important victory for Cedar Catholic. Oakland Craig has had Cedar Catholic's number the past three years. This time was not to be Cedar Catholic 27 to nothing against Oakland Craig. Very impressive victory. And I had a commentator last week go, how did Cedar Catholic do that against Oakland Craig? Because they are just year after year another powerhouse in eastern Nebraska football. That was probably the most impressive one as I look across the schedule. Followed that up with another victory, 48-14 to against Ponca. And then last week, number one Norfolk Catholic down there in Norfolk. Tell Tanner and I had the call of that one. That was a loss that came up 27-20, to a very tough game against the head coach Jeff Beller's squad and the Knights down in Norfolk. That game could have went either way, ebb and flow, lots of positive plays for both sides of the ball, offense and defense, and for both schools. 
as it was the Knights pulled out the tough victory. They secured the number one seed going into the playoffs, and Cedar Catholic, they stayed right at the number nine spot. They didn't move up or down, so basically they were just playing for home field. Uh, they would have gained a few spots and played at home this week. As it is, they're on the road down here in North Platte in southwest Nebraska. So we'll talk a little bit about how North Platte got here, a little different road, uh, how they managed to get here. A lot of schools that we just don't hear about in northeast Nebraska. And again, coming up in about five minutes, we're also going to discuss there is a major injury that will affect this game. And we'll talk about that in five minutes when we come back on The Current 94.3. What does your phone and an auto show have in common? When you go to BillionAuto.com, everything. Start searching over 7,000 vehicles instantly. Chevys, Kias, GMCs, Toyotas, Fords, Hondas, Rams, and much more. Plus, negotiate your best deal on all pre-owned vehicles and apply for credit pre-approval all within a matter of minutes. 17 new car brands and thousands of used cars all in the palm of your hand. It's like an auto show every day at BillionAuto.com. All applications accepted. Not all will be approved. The families of Doyle Stevens Construction wish to thank you for your business support and patronage. We are blessed with a loyal, hard-working concrete crew, good health, and happy grandkids. I'm McKenna. I'm Nate. I'm Elizabeth. Oh my mother Doyle at Doyle Stevens Construction. The family and employees of Doyle Stevens Construction are proud supporters of the communities in which they serve and wish the best of luck to all area student athletes in this year's playoffs. Hi, this is Doris with Farmers Union in Hardington and Weeble House Service in Fordyce. We want to thank you for your continued patronage and we hope we can be of service to you going forward. Farmers Union Co-op in Hardington, providing exceptional service for over 90 years, is a proud supporter of our area students and athletes. When you're connected to a co-op, you never farm alone. Stop in at Farmers Union Co-op in Hardington today. No two breasts are the same. They're different sizes, different density, and they change over time. Sometimes they develop breast cancer. If you notice changes in your breast, call your provider to schedule a mammogram. Starting at age 40, put getting a mammogram with the Vera Breast Center on your yearly to-do list. We'll create a screening plan that makes sense for you. Find a screening location near you at avera.org breast. Your internet speed is the playbook for your home's internet connection, and the router is your quarterback. With the correct play and speed, your quarterback should easily pass your internet signal to all the wireless devices in your home. And with Hartel Co.'s new speeds and an updated router, your internet will never fumble. Call Hartel Co. today so we can give you an official review of your internet playbook and see if your router can handle the fast speeds. And good luck this year to the Hardyton Newcastle Wildcats and Cedar Catholic Trojans. Look up. See that steeple on the hill? That's Mount Marty University, the region's premier Catholic university focused on academic excellence and student success. While you're exploring Yankton, stop by our campus, take a tour, meet our faculty, experience all of our changes and growth, and start imagining yourself as a Lancer. Now is the time to begin exploring your next big move. Visit mountmarty.edu and see yourself here. Confidentiality, loyalty, and professionalism while providing homegrown service. That's Stan Sudbeck with America's Best Realty. His years in agribusiness and construction help provide a knowledgeable background along with 20 years expertise as a licensed real estate agent in Nebraska and South Dakota. Stan's the man and a great asset to have on your team for buying or selling residential, commercial, and farmland. Call Stan Sudbeck with America's Best Realty, 402-841-5885. Good luck, students and athletes this season, and a special shout-out to number 78 Trojan Hunt. Entertaining. From the leader in irrigation technology, Valley brings you the smartest pivot controls available with the new Icon series of smart panels. The Icon family has a solution for every need. Whether you're buying a new pivot, upgrading your existing panel, or changing over from another brand, you have the advantage of operating an intuitive, full-color touchscreen interface with the simplicity you can only find in Icon. Smart panels made easy. Your local Valley Pivot dealer, Tiny Electric and Irrigation in Hardington, Nebraska. 402-254-2560. 
At Caton International in Crofton, Albion, and Neely, they know maintaining your equipment's health keeps it running at peak performance. That's why they carry genuine Case IH lubricants, filters, and batteries for your total maintenance solutions. Achieve longer service and higher performance with OEM lubricants. Maximize your machine's efficiency with Case IH approved filters. Depend on quick starting batteries designed to handle extreme vibrations and temperatures. Visit Caton International in Crofton, Albion, and Neely today and purchase genuine Case IH lubricants, filters, and batteries. Good luck to the Crofton Ward this season. At Security Bank, we believe our relationship with our customers is more than just a series of transactions. We are committed to being a valuable resource in our communities, from checking and savings accounts, home, business, and ag loans, to the latest in banking services and technology. We make it our priority to bring the latest in banking conveniences to our communities and beyond. With locations in Laurel, Allen, Osmond, Hardington, and Coleridge, you don't have to go far to experience all the benefits Security Bank has to offer. Security Bank, now that's my kind of bank. Member FBI. I see. Scott Ark back here in North Platte, Nebraska, continuing with the Farmers Union pregame show. We talked a little bit how Cedar Catholic got here to this playoff contest. Let's discuss North Platte, St. Patrick's, the Irish. They got a powerful offensive scheme that got them here, and I want to discuss just how they got here and what schools they had to get past to get here. Donovan Trumbull was the first game that they played this year. 41-6 to victory right out of the gate. Looked very strong. And then they met up with Hastings St. Cecilia, the number five seed in Class C2, 26-22. They did end up losing that game. Very tough fought defensive battle. And that was their first loss of the, of the season. And it's going to be very, very Interesting to see how that one plays out down just looking at the seeds, how the number five seed, uh, St. Cecilia, is going to match up. They could easily be the sleeper in the bracket. Next, they meet up with Centura, 35 to nothing victory. Grand Island Central Catholic, 29 to nothing. Bridgeport is a familiar name. About a year ago, we were out in Bridgeport. That's where Cedar Catholic had a first round play last year and got the victory. 57 to 15 victory. Chase County victory 43 to 20 and then number 11 gordon rushville so another playoff team that the irish met up against very decisive one side to victory 43 to 3 followed up by hershey 55 to 14 and then last week 56 to 6 against valentine a couple of just interesting notes that i looked here and i was able to pin these two teams against ready you know i just want to pick them apart and see how they they match up on paper. The team totals that these schools played against, Cedar Catholic, when you add up the wins and losses of all the schools they played against, those schools added up to be 31 victories, 50 losses. North Platte St. Patrick's, 31 victories, 49 losses, almost identical on paper. The one thing that I noticed was a little different was the points that was scored. Cedar Catholic scored 267 points so far. North Platte St. Patrick's scored 381, so another 114 points or so. So a little bit more powerful offensive scheme. The defense is almost identical. Cedar allowed 77 points. Points allowed by North Platte was 90, so very comparable there. I teased you a little bit about the injury bug. That's something Cedar Catholic has experienced this year, a little bit of injury. This week, uh, Owen Deniger did not play, or I'm sorry, did not practice very much. Uh, his He's dealing with a little bit of an injury bug to a, a lower leg issue, I'm being told. Nothing major, but just as precautionary, did not practice much. That is not the major uh, injury news that's coming out of this contest, though. It is going to be from the Irish side of the field. Uh, we all know how quarterbacks and running backs definitely affect these games. They're just the workhorses of these teams. Unfortunately, for the Irish, their star running back last week, Jackson Roberts, who has well over a thousand yards, very, very accomplished sophomore running back, 175 pounder, six foot running back. He sustained a collarbone injury, and he will he is not suiting up tonight. So I can see him; he's out there. He is, has his left arm in a sling. So the the starting running back for the Irish will not play tonight. They're moving their starting quarterback, which would be Josh Davies, to the running back position. And Jack Hess will be taking over the quarterback duties. So some backups moving around a little bit. But that's just front-page news when you get to playoff time. When you do not have your starting running back, 
that's basically who gets you here. Uh, the, the offensive line does the work up front. We all recognize that. But to have a person that, that is, carries the workload of well over 1,000 yards not be in your starting lineup, that's, that's definitely a setback right out of the gate for the Irish. So we'll see how they can change things up and accommodate that. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that and get into history of these two schools because they do have a little bit of a history and have definitely storied programs. We're about 12 minutes to go here before kickoff in this extended pregame show brought to you by Farmers Union Co-op. We're going to take a five-minute break. We'll be back on The Current 94.3. Jerry's Service in Hardington specializes in bulk delivery of premium diesel and oil and quality mobile lubricants. Jerry's Service has transport and route trucks for fuel delivery, and they will do custom blending of gasoline to fit your needs. Jerry's Service also has fuel storage tanks in stock with sizes from 300 gallons up to 2,000 gallon capacity. Serving Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota for 40 years, call 402-254-6546. Or stop by Jerry's Service in Hardington, wishing good luck to the Cedar Catholic Trojans in this year's playoffs. Growing up here in the Midwest, I learned the importance of family faith, hard work, honesty, integrity, and community contribution. All the values you want in a realtor. This is Bridget Whitmire with Lewis and Clark Realty. Whether you're buying or selling, home or business, ag land or investment property in Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota, give me a call and let's get started today. 402-649-0671. Wishing the best of luck to all our players, coaches, parents, and fans in the playoffs. For over 35 years, Cedar Security Bank has been helping people grow their businesses, build their homes, prepare for retirement, and answer financial questions. With locations in Hardington, Wynot, and Fordyce, their expertise is in the financial world, and it just makes sense to talk to the professionals. Cedar Security Bank, where their middle name is Security. Member FDIC. Cedar Security Bank is a proud supporter of all area students and athletes. Stay healthy and have a great season. When it's time for school, it's time to stop at Senex. You can fill up your car with high quality gas and fill up your stomach with a quick breakfast. Maybe most important of all, you can fill up your mug with hot coffee. So all you students and teachers, skip the snooze button and head into Senex on your way to school. Shop Easy, owned and operated by the Santee Sioux Nation, is open 24 hours for your convenience and wishes all area students and faculty a thriving, successful school year. Whether building or remodeling, let the professionals at West Hudson Lumber Company help you get started today. From hardware, kitchens and doors, to windows, siding and more, West Hudson has you covered. As a locally owned, independent, do it best member, West Hudson Lumber Company proudly serves the communities of Crofton, Osmond, Bloomfield, Niobrara, Wausau, Randolph, Pierce, Plainview and Norfolk. West Hudson is a proud supporter of all area students and athletes and wishes all the kids, teachers, coaches and parents a healthy, thriving school year and sports season. It's time for playoffs. Bring the party to your kitchen with new appliances by Whirlpool and Maytag from Cousy True Value. Our stainless steel appliances give your kitchen a sleek and powerful look while keeping food cold, dishes clean, and dinner hot. Your guests will love the look, and you'll love the new features on these great new appliances. Shop Maytag and Whirlpool for all your cooking, cleaning, and laundry, and refrigeration. Everything you need for hosting the playoff parties at Cousy True Value in Hardington. A proud supporter of Hardington students and athletes. Good luck in the playoffs. What does your phone and an auto show have in common? When you go to BillionAuto.com, everything. Start searching over 7,000 vehicles instantly. Chevys, Kias, GMCs, Toyotas, Fords, Hondas, Rams, and much more. Plus, negotiate your best deal on all pre-owned vehicles and apply for credit pre-approval all within a matter of minutes. 17 new car brands and thousands of used cars all in the palm of your hand. It's like an auto show every day at BillionAuto.com. All applications accepted. Not all will be approved. It is critical to select the right real estate professional to help you buy or sell in today's changing market. Don Peterson and Associates is familiar with home selling in Northeast Nebraska, and we can offer great tips. Call Terry Wilkerson, Jane Seiler, or me, Deb Addison, for a no-cost market analysis to learn your home's top market value at 402-254-9700. The agents at Don Peterson and Associates are proud supporters of all local students and athletes. and Associates. Back here in North Platte, Nebraska. 
Pass with about seven and a half minutes to go before kickoff. This is the Farmers Union Co-op pregame show. Want to get the starting lineups for both squads called here before we get everything going and the national anthem. And the starting lineups are brought to you by Caton International. Caton International, your local Case IH dealer in Crofton, Albion, and Neely, providing over 100 years of service to keep your farming business successful. Talked a little bit about that injury to Jackson Roberts, and that will definitely adjust the starting lineup. Number seven, Josh Davies, will be the starting running back for the Irish tonight. He's usually the starting quarterback, so that will be the first adjustment. Number 10, Jack Hess, will be the quarterback. Number 21, Will Motes, will also be a running back. Number 38, Gavin Nutter, a running back. Number 41, Justin Schroll, will be a tight end. 53, Logan Dodson, offensive line. 55, Seth Engler, offensive line. 62, Brecken Erickson will be a lineman. 68, Sam Scholes. 71, Luke Ekdahl, they'll both be linemen. 200 and 240-pound, great size offensive lineman up front. Also wing back number 12, Matthew Phelps, will be running plays in and out for the Irish. Head coach Kevin Dodson, and there's a whole host of assistant and managers for the Irish. Starting lineup for Cedar Catholic as they come into this contest, 7-2 and two on the year. Quarterback Tate Taney, he will lead the Cedar Catholic Trojans as he has for the last three years at quarterback. Number seven, Grant Arns, the junior wide receiver, made some great plays for Cedar Catholic. Number 13, Brett Kleinschmidt. 24, Spencer Albers, the tight end. Carter Arns, the senior, he'll also make some big plays for Cedar Catholic in that wideout position. Easton Becker. He is going to be the main running back for Cedar Catholic, along with Kleinschmidt, Max Steffen, Ethan Becker, and Owen Deniger will make up that offensive front for Cedar Catholic. Big playmakers also, Jackson Berniker on the outside, and Hunter Teeny looks to prove to be one of the main blockers that pulls for Cedar Catholic to pave the way for those running backs. That will be the starting lineup for Cedar Catholic head coach Chad Cotto and all of his assistants do an outstanding job year after year for Cedar Catholic. That is the starting lineup brought to you by Caton International. The prayer and the national anthem just getting set to go here in North Platte. I want to give you a little history of these two schools. They played one time in NSA playoffs, and that was five years ago, almost to the day, in Hardington, and Cedar Catholic did come away with a victory, 21-6. to Again, that was in 2016. We're going to have a presentation of colors, and we're going to take a three-minute break. We'll be back here with a kickoff after three minutes on the current 94.3. What does your phone and an auto show have in common? When you go to BillionAuto.com, everything. Start searching over 7,000 vehicles instantly. Chevys, Kias, GMCs, Toyotas, Fords, Hondas, Rams, and much more. Plus, negotiate your best deal on all pre-owned vehicles and apply for credit pre-approval all within a matter of minutes. 17 new car brands and thousands of used cars all in the palm of your hand. It's like an auto show every day at BuildingAuto.com. All applications accepted. Not all will be approved. The families of Doyle Stevens Construction wish to thank you for your business support and patronage. We are blessed with a loyal, hard-working concrete crew, good health, and happy grandkids. I'm McKenna. I'm Nate. I'm Elizabeth. Oh my mother Doyle, a Doyle Stevens Construction. The family and employees of Doyle Stevens Construction are proud supporters of the communities in which they serve and wish the best of luck to all area student athletes in this year's playoffs. Hi, this is Doris with Farmers Union in Hardington and Weeble House Service in Fordyce. We want to thank you for your continued patronage and we hope we can be of service to you going forward. Farmers Union Co-op in Hardington, providing exceptional service for over 90 years, is a proud supporter of our area students and athletes. When you're connected to a co-op, you never farm alone. Stop in at Farmers Union Co-op in Hardington today. No two breasts are the same. They're different sizes, different density, and they change over time. Sometimes they develop breast cancer. If you notice changes in your breast, call your provider to schedule a mammogram. Starting at age 40, put getting a mammogram with the Vera Breast Center on your yearly to-do list. 
We'll create a screening plan that makes sense for you. Find a screening location near you at avera.org slash breast. Scott Ork back here in North Platte, Nebraska. We're all set to go to the Irish, the nine seed. I'm sorry, the 8th seed, and Cedar Catholic, the 9th seed. We're just all set for kickoff here. Thank you for joining us. And that was the Farmers Union Co-op pregame show. We are just about set to go. Number 85, that will be Berniker Jackson, the junior. He'll be doing the kickoff duty. Cedar Catholic won the toss and deferred to the second half. Cedar Catholic in the white, red trim, and the Irish green jerseys, gold pants trimmed in gold up top. They'll be receiving back deep right at the 10-yard line. They'll receive it straight up the middle running, and he's going to be tripped up about the 30 and a fall forward about the 35, so a good position there. Number 38 returning the ball for the Irish. That was Nutter, and that's where they'll take over. First down and 10 ball just short of the 35-yard line. North Platte, St. Patrick's coming into this contest. Approximately 90% of their plays are rushing. Almost everything is set up out of the rush. A little bit of play action. Handoff is the first man through, and good blocking up front. A gain of about six on that one. And I believe that, was, that again, was number 38, Nutter, getting the call. We'll give him a gain of six on the play. They start out with uh, two or three running backs in the backfield, and it's just a double tight end formation. Now they send one wide out to the far side of the field. That's number 21, Will Motes, a six-foot junior. Two running backs split in the backfield. Handoff is to the one on the left, and he's going to be tripped up. Not sure if the ball came loose there, uh, but it will be third down. I heard a couple of the yelling ball, but as it is with third and one, Get a gain of two on the play. Big third down play early on, just underway here. One minute gone off the clock here as the ball currently sitting at the 44 yard line of the Irish. And our first man through, good blocking up front, and he's going to get it on his second push forward. That should move the chains. Good contact up front there by Taney, number 78. That was Hunter Taney making first contact. However, the running back was able to lunge forward for another yard, and that will lead to an Irish first down. Tight formation again for the Irish. Three running backs stacked. Handoff is a Nope, quarterback's going to keep this one. Rolling out to the far side, looking patient, being chased by Easton Becker. He's going to be taken down in the backfield. Eventually, Berniker's going to get the sack. Easton Becker's going to get an assist on the play also. A loss of five on the play will bring up second down. Cedar Catholic doesn't get a lot of sacks on the year. They only have nine. That will lead ten total as Berniker and Easton Becker rally the defense on that one. A nice play there by the Cedar Catholic defense. Fake pitch coming to the near side, and a big play blown up there by the linebacker, blitzing linebacker from Cedar Catholic. That was Taney along with number 57 for Cedar Catholic, blown up in the backfield. That's Ethan Becker, another loss of three on the play, and that will bring up third and long. So it's a misdirection in the backfield by the Irish. Didn't fool the Trojan defense at all, and Becker was able to get back there and blow that one up for another loss. That's two plays in a row, outstanding defense by Cedar Catholic. The Irish only pass on approximately 10% of their plays, so they are definitely a run-first play kind of a team. One wide out to the far side, and now a handoff coming straight up the middle. Good coverage there by Cedar Catholic. Hunter Taney makes contact first, and now a whole host of defenders coming in, and we'll get him a gain of about two on the play. I 
did not get the running back name on that one, as it was a gain of two will bring up fourth and long, and the punt team should come on. Back deep for Cedar Catholic. There should be there's two of them back there. Number seven, that's Grant Arns, along with number thirteen, Brett Kleinschmidt. Left kick, nice kick, end over end. Ball's going to land about the thirty and go out of bounds, and that's where Cedar Catholic will take over, just short of the thirty, maybe about the twenty-eight is where they'll take over. Nice defensive stand, and then a couple big blowed up plays in the backfield for loss. And Cedar Catholic's defense definitely put the stop to the Irish first offensive series. Last week, Cedar Catholic couldn't get anything going on offense for rushing. It was mostly passing. Tate Taney, 119 yards in the first half, and then went 3 for 11 and got cold in the second half and could not get anything lined up with his receivers. Man in motion is Arns going from the near side to the far. I formation, Taney under center. Handoff is to Kleinschmidt, the first man through. We'll give him a gain of two on the play. We'll bring up second down. A quick hit play there with Kleinschmidt going straight up off that left side, right behind Owen Deniger. As we mentioned, was battling a little bit of a leg injury. I see extra wrapping on that lower left side. That looks like a shin or lower left leg bone was giving him some problems last week. Maryland I formation, handoff to the third man through coming this way, and he's going to be tripped up. I believe that again is Kleinschmidt, and we'll give him a gain of he got about five after he fell forward. So we're going to bring up third and two. Actually going to be six yards on that one. So a third and two coming up here for Cedar Catholic. Ball is at the 38-yard line. 37, 38 yard line. Two wide outs to the far side, one to the near. The only lone back is Becker. Taney under center, long cadence count. Quarterback keeper, straightforward running. He's got first down yardage and then some, and he's going to be tackled. Just across first down yards plus another couple, and that'll move the chain. Cedar Catholic with the first down. You kind of see that was what was coming there as Taney was a lot of hard count trying to get the defense to jump when he didn't get it. He had everybody spread out, three wide outs spread out, and the offensive line had wide splits. Nice call there by Taney, the senior quarterback. Now three wide outs to the near side of the field, one wide out to the far. Grant Arns goes in motion to the far side, and now Taney looking to pass to the left side, sets his feet, looks back to the near, being scrambled. He's in deep trouble in the backfield. He's going to be taken down for a big loss. Taney held that way too long. The offensive line just could not hold the pocket, and that is going to be a loss of about 14 yards on the play. Big sack and a big defensive play there as Taney takes a big loss. And now second down and long for Cedar Catholic. Ball is going to be right at the 30-yard line. They need to get to about the 48-yard line of the Irish. Quick pitch to the far side is Becker. Off that left side, Hunter Taney's pulling out in front, and there's nothing there. Maybe two. We'll give him two yards on the play, but great backside pursuit by the linebackers to the Irish, and that will force third down and long. That's Becker's first carry for two yards last week. He had seven carries, I believe, for 36 yards as the Knights of Norfolk Catholic had shut down Becker. He just could not get anything going. They were keying in on him, and that forced Taney to have to go to the passing game early. Five men crowding the box for the Irish, and now Taney looking to pass. Three wideouts over the middle. It's going to be his pickoff. Right at midfield, it's going to be intercepted. The pass was going to be short, looking for Grant Arns. Still on his feet, and it's going to be taken down. Eventually brought down by Hunter Taney right at the 34-yard line. And that interception is going to be the third interception by Tate Taney of the year. He had one last week against Norfolk Catholic. It was a tip ball. This one was just underthrown. And the Irish are in great field position now with the ball set up. It's actually going to be officially down right at the 34-yard line. Quick 
Page coming to the near side for the Irish. Great backside pursuit. That is outstanding play there. Number 24 for Cedar Catholic making the play. That is Spencer Albers laying himself out. No gain on the play. Running the ball was Will Motes. Give credit for Albers for just giving himself up. That will bring up second down. They're officially the six. Looks like they're going to give him a yard on it, but outstanding play by Albers. Tight formation for North Platte St. Patrick's. Three running backs in the backfield, no wideouts. Now one man shifts to the right side, hand off to the third man through, cross the line of scrimmage, still on his feet, scramble, and bouncing out to the outside, breaks the tackle, first down yardage, and eventually going to be brought down, running the ball for the Irish, it was number seven, that's Josh Davies. Are they going to give him a first down? He's real close there, making the tackle was Tate Taney for Cedar Catholic, and it will, he's just going to be just short. So an eight-yard gain, It'll be one yard short, it will bring up third down. Very shifty. Davies on his feet as he's been the quarterback, I'm told, throughout the season, and now he's moved into that running back position with the injury to Jackson Roberts sustained last week. Ball placed at about the 24 yard line, and they got to get to the 23. I watched their place kicker in warm ups. He is more than capable of making it from this distance for field goals. Hand off is the third man through, and he's got first down yardage and then some. That's Davies, and he's eventually going to be brought down. Tate Taney making the tackle for Cedar Catholic, along with number 57 is Ethan Becker, I believe, making the tackle also. It, it is Ethan. That will move the chains first down for the Irish. So far, some big offensive line work up front for the Irish, kind of pushing their way around, getting nice downfield blocks, and having their way with the Cedar defense early in this first quarter with 3.13 to go. Hand off. No quarterback. It looks like the quarterback kept that one. It was blown up there. Number 13 for Cedar Catholic was able to get in the backfield and kind of blow that play up. That was Brett Kleinschmidt. A gain of one on the play along with Denniger, Owen Denniger making a stop for Cedar Catholic. It will be second down and nine. There's absolutely no wind out here in North Platte tonight. It is absolutely beautiful. It's got to be mid-60s, no air moving at all. Now handoff is Davies again, a gain of a couple, not before he's tackled. Nice tackle in there by Klein Schmidt along with Jackson Berniker and this number 24, Spencer Albers, and on another tackle. Very impressed so far with Spencer Albers' hustle here in this first quarter. Third down and six coming up here for the Irish. All running plays here. Irish now, yep, it's going to be another handoff coming to the near side. Another nice play in the backfield. Easton Becker getting off that nose guard position, making a play in the backfield, and along with Hunter Taney and Kleinschmidt stopping him. We'll call it a loss of one. It will be fourth and seven coming up for the Irish. And we will see what... Head coach Kevin Dodson does here, and they will be going for a field goal. So this one here, is the official signal. It's about a 34-yard field goal. My numbers right. The kick is up. It's on its way. And it's going to be just off to the left side. So no good. Cedar Catholic's defense holds. And they come out of that one. Great defense. Good pursuit and push in there by Hunter Taney, along with number seven. That's Grant Arns. I got lucky on that one. The kicking, the, the kick just didn't come off his foot very clean. I saw outstanding kicking in pregame, and that one there was rushed a little bit, as it is the left-footed kicker. Did not get that one to go through the upright. So Cedar Catholic will take over first down and ten. 
see if they can't get a little momentum going here in the waning moments of this first quarter, just over a minute to go. Option play to the far side of the field. 18, he's going to keep this one still on his feet, first down and then some, and he's going to be stopped, gain of 12. A lot of extracurricular going on over there in that huddle. And there comes a late flag, and there's still extracurricular going on, even after the flag. You could just see that was coming on. Tate Taney's talking to the ref on. yep, I agree. Let's we'll see what the official call is. There was a lot of stuff that kept carrying on even after that play ended. Four referees are conferring. So it was a first down run. I think this will be after the play. We'll see if it's a dead ball call. Dead ball. So it's a dead ball. After the play, there was unsportsmanlike on both teams. So there was a lot going on. It's hard to, hard to convey that in a radio broadcast. A lot going on after that play. So both teams are getting a, a call here. They're offsetting penalties. And we're moving on. Chains move first down Cedar Catholic. A lot of, a lot of animation going on as kids are into these games. Man in motion coming to the near side. Handoff is to him. That's Arns. Crackback block. Should be a no flight called in. And now Arns at the 50. And it's going to be tackled right at the 50-yard line. That is number seven. Nice play. Cedar Catholic has Grant Arns. I thought there was going to be a block in the back, and there was no call at the 40. I think Cedar might have got away with one there. As it is, no call. And the ball is on the North Platte St. Patrick's side of the 50 at about the 49 and a half first down for Cedar Catholic just under 28 seconds to go here in this first quarter right now the sun is at their back that's the only thing is to play right now there's no wind at all to deal with man in motion coming to the near side that is Carter Arns handoff now is to Becker Becker gets set up in the backfield and nowhere to go maybe a yard we'll give Easton a yard and that will bring up second down and nine. He did go out of bounds, so the clock will stop with 10 seconds to go here in this first quarter of play. Three wideouts to the far side of the field. One to the near. Easton Becker is the lone setback with Tate Taney in the gun. Snap back, high snap as Taney straight forward quarterback keeper, a gain of four hard yards. And that will run out the clock at the end of the first quarter of play. No score. Cedar Catholic moving the ball at the 45. We'll be back in 60 seconds with second quarter action on the current 94.3. Your internet speed is the playbook for your home's internet connection, and the router is your quarterback. With the correct play and speed, your quarterback should easily pass your internet signal to all the wireless devices in your home. And with Hartel Co.'s new speeds and an updated router, your internet will never fumble. Your internet speed is the playbook for your home's internet connection, and the router is your quarterback. With the correct play and speed, your quarterback should easily pass your internet signal to all the wireless devices in your home. And with Hartel Co.'s new speeds and an updated router, your internet will never fumble. Call Hartel Co. today so we can give you an official review of your internet playbook and see if your router can handle the fast speeds. And good luck this year to the Hardyton Newcastle Wildcats and Cedar Catholic Trojans. Look up. See that steeple on the hill? That's Mount Marty University. The region's premier Catholic university focused on academic excellence and student success. While you're exploring Yankton, stop by our campus, take a tour, meet our faculty, experience all of our changes and growth, and start imagining yourself as a Lancer. Now is the time to begin exploring your next big move. Visit mountmarty.edu and see yourself here. Option play to the near side of the field. Pitch to Becker, and he's going to be hit right at the line of scrimmage by a whole host of defenders. Blocking schemes need to pick up at the offensive point of attack as there's five green jerseys wrapped around Becker. No gain. It will force a fourth down. 
fourth down and five for Cedar Catholic. Ball is at the 45-yard line. They need to get to just past the 40. And it looks like Cedar Catholic's going for this one. No? Nope. Jackson Berniker is in the huddle there. So Berniker is in punt formation. Two. There are two backs back deep for North Platte. St. Patrick's at about the 10-yard line. Berniker just gets that one away and angles it out of bounds, so there is absolutely no return. That one went way out of bounds. And this one's still being marked off. There's a track here, and this one went across the track. Berniker was not giving anybody a chance to run that one back. And the official signal is going to be just short of the about 29-yard line. Is that's where the Irish will take over first and 10. So a defensive battle. We kind of talked about that a little bit in pregame, that the defenses for these both these schools have only gave up 77 points for Cedar Catholic and 90 points for the Irish. That's all they've given up all year, and we're seeing that so far here in the first quarter. The offenses have kind of lit up the scoreboard throughout the season, and I think they'll get things going here on both sides of the ball. Both schools will. Five-man front, and now another man comes up front looking to blitz up front for Cedar Catholic. Quick handoff and running the ball up there for the Irish. Get a number on him. Number 30, I believe. 38, that was Nutter. We'll give a gain of about four on the play. We'll bring up second down. They kind of shuffle back and forth between Davies and Nutter. They both have five carries. I was, I was warned about this. They do a lot of tight running in the middle. We see that with Ponka back at home. We see that with Crofton. We see, Luth and High Northeast does a lot of that scheming play back home. And then they'll set up to that uh, play-action pass, and you just have to stay on the safety. You have to be careful. Quick pitch play to the far side of the Davies. Side steps the defender. First down yardage, and it's going to be tackled right at the 44-yard line. Not before that. We'll move the chains. Nice running there. By number seven, Josh Davies, a very quick and shifty running back moving from that quarterback position as we talked about. We'll give him again a nine on the play. Again, the head storyline coming into this game is the starting running back, Jackson Roberts, is out for the Irish with a broken collarbone, I'm told. So he is not in this contest, and that shifts the quarterback over to the running back position and moves folks around on the offensive side of the ball for the Irish. Three running back stack for the Irish. Handoff is to the third man through. That is Davies. Cross line of scrimmage and a nice play. Making the tackle there is Tate Taney. But not before a gain of about three. And we'll bring up second down. Call it four yards officially on the play. Tate Taney flying up from that safety position to make the tackle for Cedar Catholic. The defensive positioning of the Trojans, they usually do a four- or five-man front. Now they're moving an extra man in the box, trying to load up. It can be very good to stop the run, but the safeties have to be careful. They slip a tight end out in the flat or out, definitely get past those linebackers. Again, three running backs behind the quarterback. Should be a flag coming in here. I thought there was a... There's only a couple of people took off once they snapped the ball. There was, they snapped it, and none of the linemen moved, and they ran the ball to the left side. And there was no flag. Not quite, it was definitely a broken-looking play, as it is very tricky to call because I thought it was gonna, just a broken play and should have been flagged dead, but as it is, it'll bring up third down. None of the players reacted quite right either. Gain of one on the play, the Davies. As it is, third down and seven coming up for the Irish. Quarterback looking to pass, rolling out to the near side. Well covered by Cedar Catholic, still rolling, good blocking, passing, and almost picked off as it is going to be incomplete at the 30. Tate Taney was in great position. He was looking for his wide receiver. That's number 21, Will Motes, and that will be incomplete on the play and will bring up fourth down. In the Irish, not a big passing team. As it is, Cedar Catholic looked like they were anticipating that one and it had five defensive backs in the, the secondary. Plenty of coverage there. And Taitini was in the best position to get a hand on that ball. As it is, fourth down, Irish looking to punt the ball. Left-footed kicker very high. This one 
It's going to be fielded by Klein Schmidt at about the 11. Sidestepping, now turns back north-south, blocking a back flag coming up here in a second, and it's going to be a 20, right at about the 25, but a flag is placed right at the 15. I think it's going to be a block and a back on Deniger. We'll see the official call here from the referee. Once Klein Schmidt turned sideways there, the lineman was just in a bad position. He had nowhere to go. And it is. So if you're blocking the back on Cedar Catholic, it wasn't any fault of anyone. Deniger basically stopped in his tracks and how that the defender turned. It just, it was what it was. So Cedar Catholic will take over first and 10. Ball's going to be right at the... The official mark here. They're going to be deep. Just from the angle, I'm sitting right at the 50, so my angle isn't all that great. I'm not that high up. I'm going to say it's going to be right at about the seven-yard line. Six or seven-yard line. So they're deep in their own territory. Two wide outs, far side. It's like an eye formation there behind Taney. Fake the handoff. Taney's looking to pass. Out in the flat, he's got a man. First down. Tucked it back up to the middle. That's Klein Schmidt in a big hit. Klein Schmidt takes a big hit, holds on to the ball. And that will be a first down play. Nice fake handoff there from Taney to Kleinschmidt. 11-yard gain, and that'll move the chains. 8.02 to go in this first half. Low-scoring defensive battle. One wide out to the near side of the field. That's number five for Cedar Catholic. That is Carson Arns. Hand off the second man through. That is Easton Becker. He's going to sidestep a couple defenders. We'll give him a gain of about four. Becker now has four carries for seven yards. Tough, tough running there by the senior running back. The defensive front for North Platte St. Patrick's, 230, 240, 265, 200, very, very big physical guys up front that match up very well against Cedar Catholic's offensive front. One wide out to the far side, two to the near with Easton Becker, the lone running back. Fake handoff, Taitini now being blitzed, and he's just going to take a knee. He was in deep trouble there. He had two linebackers or one safety coming from the far side, and he just basically gave up on that one instead of taking a big hit. So that will be a sack. What was Second down, and about six will turn into third and 14. So a loss of eight on the play. So third and long, Cedar Catholic now sends three wideouts to the far side of the field. The blitzing every play, it seems like about 70% of the time there's blitzing coming from the Irish. Rolling out to the far side of the field, looking to pass Taney. He's got a man. And it's going to be shoved out of bounds just short of the first down. I believe that was number five making the catch. That was Carson Arns. A gain of, he got the original yard. He's got about eight back. So it's going to be fourth down and seven. Fourth down here coming up. Punt formation for Cedar Catholic. Two men back deep just across the 50 for the Irish. Wobbly kick. This one's going to shank off the side of his foot, and it's going to go way out of bounds on the far side of the field, and the Irish are going to have great field position. We'll see where this one's going to be officially marked now, and the judge will stop at about the 38-yard line of Cedar Catholic. So great field position here for North Platte St. Patrick's. The number eight seed coming into this one, eight and one on the season. And Cedar Catholic 7-2, and two, the only loss for the Irish against an outstanding Hastings St. Cecilia squad, which is also 8-1. and one. A little delay out there, switching out balls on the field now, getting a fresh ball. Might be a little dew forming, but the field is in great condition. I was able to walk it before the game now. 
all set to go here. Five man front for Cedar Catholic. A whole bunch of linebackers. Everybody stacked in there. Now they close the gap. Running into the second man through, and he's get a gain of about three. And that was Gavin Nutter, the running back. We'll get a gain of three on the play. We'll bring up second down. I didn't get any statistics for this squad from North Platte, but anytime you have a kid that gets well over a thousand yards, as Jackson Roberts did, you think they're going to give it to him all the time. So they're definitely splitting it up. Davies and Nutter, a little bit of Moats, having to figure out a new offensive scheme. So I can uh, fake the handoff now. Man in the flat coming out to the near side. Well covered. Cedar Catholic's going to shove him out of bounds. Nice pass play there. That one's going from Hess. To number 32, that was Connor Hazenauer. Hazenauer and Phelps are the two that come off of the Irish side, bringing the plays in and out each time. So a nice pass play there. That will move the chains for a first down. taking their time coming up in this one. Five minutes to go here in the first half, but they're getting almost in the red zone. Quick pitch now to the third man through. He's going to be tripped up. Into the backfield, there was Ethan Becker kind of busting that play up, forcing him to go far to the outside. And that was Nutter again getting a gain of five. So nice rushing there. Mike Evan Nutter, the 5'6", 150-pound senior. Very small frame, but he's quick. Peter Catholic looks a little bit flat. Seen him play a few times this year. Called some other games. They just don't seem like they're quite on their A game yet. Sometimes it takes to get going. I know we're an hour and a half earlier than normal games. As it is... Double tight end, man in motion now for the Irish coming from the outside into the near handoff to the inside formation. He's going to be tripped up. Running the ball, that was Will Motes. He's going to get a gain of a couple on the play. We'll bring up third down, and we'll give him actually three. He's just short of that first first down. It's kind of an inside trap handoff. There's just lots of traffic in there. It's tough to make a tackle, but it's also tough for Motes to get any any ground game, any room to move. Deep running back here in this formation is Josh Davies. He's got eight carries. He leads the Irish with the amount of carries. And if the first man through, that is Nutter, and he's going to get a first down. That's going to move the chains. Tackle made on that one by Owen Deniger, but not before we'll get him a gain of three. And now Nutter and Davies each have eight carries. First down and ten balls right at the 15-yard line of Cedar Catholic. So the Irish now in the red zone of Cedar Catholic. The sun is at the back of the Irish, so Cedar Catholic looking into the sun that's setting here in North Platte. Quick pitch to Davies to the near side. Good pursuit there, and he's going to be tripped up, making the tackle for Cedar Catholic. Jackson Berniker, along with number eight for Cedar Catholic. That is Brandon Rohan and Kleinschmidt. And now there is a player down. Oh, no. And this is number seven, Josh Davies, the running back that's taking over the running back duties. He's down. So he's getting up and trying to walk off. We'll see if they're going to take an injury timeout here. They're going to do a quick injury timeout. We're also going to take an injury timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds on the current 94.3. Okay, we're back here in North Platte. It's 
one of those really wasn't terrible. Uh, sometimes, you know, a kid will lay there and they just need a little break. This one, he kind of got up and walked off, and now halfway off the field, uh, they're actually helping him off. So it's a, a lower extremity, like a leg or an ankle. Uh, so they're helping him off the field. As it is, we're moving on. Second down and uh, about 12 coming up. Looks like a little bit of a misdirection reverse play here for North Platte. And this one's going to be blown up. Nice play there. Cedar Catholic, number seven, making the play in the backfield. It will be a loss of one. That's Grant Arns. Outstanding play there by the Cedar Catholic defense. It's always tricky when you come out of those little injury plays like that. You don't know how teams are going to respond because it kind of breaks the rhythm up. As it is, Moats had a real nice nice side-to-side -side run there, but an outstanding play by Deniger along with Grant Orange to stop that. As it is third down and 11 now. Ball is on the 17-yard line with 2.02 to go here in the first half. And I'll straight forward. Moats gets the call again. He's going to be tripped up. Short of the first down, a couple yards short. Get the official signal where he's at. So this will be a fourth down coming up for the Irish. Most got about three again. Fourth down and about four for the Irish. After that missed field goal attempt, head coach Kevin Dodson says, we're going for it. Fourth and four, and they are going for it. See, the defense can just stand steady, don't jump. And they were trying to get them to jump, and that's exactly what the defense did not do. So the Irish are going to talk things over. We're going to take a break also. We'll be back in 60 seconds on the current 94.3. Confidentiality, loyalty, and professionalism while providing homegrown service. That's Stan Sudback with America's Best Realty. His years in agribusiness and construction help provide a knowledgeable background along with 20 years expertise as a licensed real estate agent in Nebraska and South Dakota. Stan's the man and a great asset to have on your team for buying or selling residential, commercial, and farmland. Call Stan Sudback with America's Best Realty, 402-841-5885. Good luck, students and athletes this season, and a special shout-out to number 78 Trojan entertaining. From the leader in irrigation technology, Valley brings you the smartest pivot controls available with the new Icon series of smart panels. The Icon family has a solution for every need. Whether you're buying a new pivot, upgrading your existing panel, or changing over from another brand, you have the advantage of operating an intuitive full-color touchscreen interface with the simplicity you can only find in Icon. Smart panels made easy. Your local Valley Pivot dealer, Tiny Electric and Irrigation in Hardington, Nebraska. 402-254-2560. Fourth down play, handoff is the third man through, and he's going to make the first down. An outstanding running play there to the third man through, and that will bring up first down and goal coming out of that timeout. Timeouts are brought to you by Jerry's Service. Proudly serving Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota for 40 years and a proud supporter of our area students and athletes. First down and goal coming out of that timeout. A big play there. Handoff was to the third man through. That was number 38 rushing the ball. That's Nutter, and it will make first and goal. Handoff again is to Nutter. He's going to be tripped right at the line of scrimmage, and the defense will hold on that first and goal. Irish are going to, they're going to take a timeout, a quick timeout here with 44 seconds. We're going to keep it right here, and we'll talk a little bit about the bracket, as well as this first half has went very, very fast. Only one timeout called clean game. Uh, just one penalty, one interception. Cedar Catholic matched up against the 8th seed, North Platte St. Patrick's, coming up here in... Oh, about 50 minutes on Riverfront Sports app. We're going to have North Fort Catholic, the number one seed, and number 16, Crofton. They just got in at the 16 seed, just barely, and barely is good enough. I can't wait to see how Crofton does, and I wish them all the best. I'm excited to see Crofton making it into the Class C2 playoff bracket. They'll play North Fort Catholic tonight. Tell Tanner we'll have the call on the Riverfront Sports app. 
back here. It is second. Second and goal for the Irish. Nothing. It's all zero zero is your score, and the Irish they're pushing in. No signal yet. Still waiting to see. And there's no signal. And there it is. A late call comes in. All the Irish for signaling touchdown, and finally a side referee comes in, and there's your first score of the game. Six to nothing is where we are sitting right now with 43 seconds to go here in the first half. A defensive battle is all we have seen so far in this game. As it is, the Irish punch that one home, and an outstanding drive and play on a short field by the Irish to take the lead here late in this first half. Irish now want to talk things over. They're going to take a quick break. We'll take one as well. We'll be back in 30 seconds on the current 94.3. At Caton International in Crofton, Albion, and Neely, they know maintaining your equipment's health keeps it running at peak performance. That's why they carry genuine Case IH lubricants, filters, and batteries for your total maintenance solutions. Achieve longer service and higher performance with OEM lubricants. Maximize your machine's efficiency with Case IH approved filters. Depend on quick starting batteries designed to handle extreme vibrations and temperatures. Visit Caton International in Crofton, Albion, and Neely today and purchase genuine Case IH lubricants, filters, and batteries. Good luck to the Crofton Warriors this season. Nebraska Scott Orrick calling tonight's Class C2 matchup between Cedar Catholic and North Platte St. Patrick's. The Irish just punching their first touchdown of the night. Six to nothing is where we sit with 43 seconds to go in the first half. And now they're just coming out of a timeout. The head coach wants to talk things over. What are they going to do? Are they going to go for the extra point or go for a two point conversion here and just getting the players lined back up? Outstanding run play there by Nutter, punching that one in on a four yard play as they were lined up at a short field to work with and a lot of run plays. And now their starting running back is out for the game. Their backup running back is out for the game. So they're working on a lot of replacements as it is. An extra point attempt coming up here. And now an official timeout coming up here by Cedar Catholic. Cedar Catholic wants to talk things over. And we're going to take another quick break. We'll be back with this extra point after a 30-second break on the current 9 3 Did you know that using your debit card to pay in stores, online, or even within apps has never been easier or more secure? Now there's a better way to pay with Digital Wallet from Security Bank. Whether at the coffee shop, grocery store, or online, instead of making purchases using your plastic card, now you can pay with your smartphone, tablet, or smartwatch. Just touch, tap, pay the easy way with Digital Wallet from Security Bank. Ask about it today. Member FDIC. You think an extra point and one point here and there isn't important. We've had timeouts and then another follow down by Cedar Catholic. Unbelievable just because you need to get their right positioning trying to stop this extra point. That's how tight this contest is. Six to nothing as North Platte now has the six point lead following that run and they're trying to put an extra point up on the board. Cedar Catholic trying to block this extra point. Waiting for the snap still. Snap to hold. The kick is up. And after all that, much ado, the kick is up and is good. So 7 nothing is where we stand with 43 seconds to go. We'll be back in 60 seconds on the current 94.3. Jerry's Service in Hardington specializes in bulk delivery of premium diesel and oil and quality mobile lubricants. Jerry's Service has transport and route trucks for fuel delivery, and they will do custom blending of gasoline to fit your needs. Jerry's Service also has fuel storage tanks in stock with sizes from 300 gallons up to 2,000 gallon capacity. Serving Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota for 40 years, call 402-254-6546. Or stop by Jerry's Service in Hardington, wishing good luck to the Cedar Catholic Trojans in this year's playoffs. Growing up here in the Midwest, I learned the importance of family, faith, hard work, honesty, integrity, and community contributions. 
all the values you want in a realtor. This is Bridget Whitmire with Lewis & Clark Realty. Whether you're buying or selling, home or business, ag land or investment property in Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota, give me a call and let's get started today. 402-649-0671. Wishing the best of luck to all our players, coaches, parents, and fans in the playoffs. The Irish all set the kickoff here as they are now up 7-0. to zero. Your score, 43 seconds to go in the first half of play. Back deep for Cedar Catholic is Kleinschmidt and Arns. As the Irish now have finally broken the stalemate of 0-0 zero to zero with a 7 nothing lead. Nice kick by the left-footed kicker. Fielded right near the goal line. Fake reverse by Kleinschmidt, and he's going to be tackled right near the 15-yard line. And that's where Cedar Catholic will take over first and 10. That touchdown, eight play drive, another five yard touchdown run. The extra point was good. And that touchdown brought to you by Security Bank. Banking six points was Nutter. Score big with all products and services offered at Security Bank. That's my kind of bank. Seven to nothing is the score. And the scoreboard update is brought to you by Cruzy True Value, offering all the products you need to upgrade and maintain your home with the local neighborhood service you've come to expect. First down and 10 for Cedar Catholic in the waiting moments of the first half. Handoff is to Klein Schmidt, the first man through. Good yardage. And now Cedar, you're going to get a gain of about seven on the play. And now Cedar Catholic will take a quick timeout and talk things over. We're going to keep it right here as this will just be a very quick timeout just to stop the clock. And we'll talk things over here. This timeout is going to be brought to you by Jerry's Service, proudly serving Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota for 40 years and a proud supporter of our area students and athletes. So 7 to nothing. We talked a little bit about how both these schools have stout defenses, only giving up 90 points on the year is North Platte, 77 points, and now plus another 7 for Cedar Catholic. Very, very comparable on the defensive front for both squads. Cedar Catholic rushing the, the attack has been something that's got him here. Except for last week, had to switch to the passing game against Norfolk Catholic. And it seems to be tonight that's, that's something that's also the rushing game has, has been sputtering a little bit. And the passing game, we'll see if that's what Coach Cato continues to go towards. Arns, uh, number seven, that is his favorite. Grant, that's one of his favorite targets, along with Berniker. Jackson is a very tall, lengthy receiver, 6'3", 6'4", frame, and that's usually where he likes to go with the ball. Two wide outs, one on each side of the formation for Cedar Catholic. Taking the gun, stand back, look into the near side of the arms, carrying it up. Ball's going to come down across the 50, and it's going to be tipped up and incomplete. Almost picked off at the 40, as it is. he was looking for arms. We were just talking about him. And that will bring up third down and two for Cedar Catholic. Clock now stops at 24 seconds left to go. And we'll see what Coach Cotto's choice is here. Twenty-four seconds. We encourage you to stick right here with us for the halftime show. Brought to Bridget Whitmire of Lewis and Clark Realty, the tonight's halftime sponsor. Third down and two for Cedar Catholic. Three wideouts to the far side of the formation. Quarterback keeper straight forward, just looking to get the first down. And I believe the far side judge did get them, so that will be a first down. And now quickly up to the line is Cedar Catholic. 20 seconds. Clock is rolling with the signal from the referee. Now they're looking to pass. Far side, they got three receivers. Throws it up over the middle. He's got arms. He's going to be picked up and incomplete at the 50. Now with 10.8 seconds left on the clock. And the ball is right at the 37-yard line of Cedar Catholic. It's one of those I figured Cedar Catholic would be able to move the ball a little bit easier. I've seen their offense be very efficient. And to see them struggle like this, I give tons of credit to the Irish defense. They're getting lots of pressure up front. The front four, they, they do a four 
man front on defense, and those four are getting lots of pressure on Taney. Snap back, four wide outs, two on each side. They're all going deep. Airs this one out deep to the near side is Arns. He's well covered, and it's going to be tipped up, and there should be an offensive pass interference here on Arns. Happened right in front of me, and I'm almost certain it's going to be on Arns as he kind of gave a little tug to the defender. I hear some oohs and ahs, and a very good call right up and right in front of me here. The official call from the referee. There's also a flag in the backfield. I'm just now noticing. So there's two flags. Get the official signals here. Holding on Cedar Catholic is the first one. Pass interference on Cedar Catholic. There's two of them there. They're going to decline the holding and accept the pass interference. So that's Cedar Catholic's first one. That's that will be remain second down, but that's going to move them back a bunch. The ball is going to be officially placed at the 25-yard line. They need to get to the 37-yard line for a first down. Check that. 12-yard line is where it's going to be placed. And lots of lots of questions here. The coaching staff from North Platte St. Patrick's wants to talk this thing over. We'll get reorganized as well. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back in 30 seconds for the conclusion of this this first half on the current 94.3. For over 35 years, Cedar Security Bank has been helping people grow their businesses, build their homes, prepare for retirement, and answer financial questions. With locations in Hardington, Wynot, and Fordyce, their expertise is in the financial world, and it just makes sense to talk to the professionals. Cedar Security Bank, where their middle name is Security. Member FDIC. Cedar Security Bank is a proud supporter of all area students and athletes. Stay healthy and have a great season. Seconds ago in the first half, Scott Ulrich back here in North Platte, handoff straight forward, and now Kleinfoot breaks it out to the far side. He's across first down yardage and across the 40 to the 45. He's going to be thrown out at about the 47 yard line. It looked like Cedar Catholic is just content to let the clock run out as it is. Kleinfoot breaks that one for a big play. No flags. I'm seeing if everybody's going to their respective corners. And they are. So that will end the first half of play. A tough contest down here in North Platte. The Irish from North Platte St. Patrick's lead the Cedar Catholic Trojans. Seven to nothing is your score. We'll be back for our halftime show brought to you by Bridget Meyer from Lewis and Clark Realty in three minutes on the current 94.3. Football season is here, and Shop Easy South of Yankton has all of your favorite snacks and beverages for the game. So whether you're hitting the road for an away game or just heading down the street to watch the neighbor's big screen, make Cenex your destination for top quality fuel, favorite snacks, and service with a smile. Football season, it's fans. Food, it's community social. Don't show up empty-handed. Football season powered locally at Cenex. Stop in to Shop Easy South of Yankton, owned and operated by the Santee Sioux Nation, and open 24 hours for your convenience. Whether building or remodeling, let the professionals at West Hudson Lumber Company help you get started today. From hardware, kitchens and doors, to windows, siding and more, West Hudson has you covered. As a locally owned, independent, do-it-best member, West Hudson Lumber Company proudly serves the communities of Crofton, Osmond, Bloomfield, Niobrara, Wausau, Randolph, Pierce, Plainview and Norfolk. West Hudson is a proud supporter of all area students and athletes and wishes all the kids, teachers, coaches and parents a healthy, thriving school year and sports season. 
Maytag knows you strive for something better with each party you host, and Cruzy True Value has what you need to throw the perfect playoff party. Committed to delivering products built to stand the test of time, every new Maytag is backed by a decade of dependability with a 10-year limited parts warranty. So if it's time to remodel your kitchen, upgrade your laundry, and make it more efficient and enjoyable home, shop the Maytag brand appliances at Cruzy True Value in Hardington. A proud supporter of Hardington students and athletes. Good luck in the playoffs. What does your phone and an auto show have in common? When you go to BillionAuto.com, everything. Start searching over 7,000 vehicles instantly. Chevys, Kias, GMCs, Toyotas, Fords, Hondas, Rams, and much more. Plus, negotiate your best deal on all pre-owned vehicles and apply for credit pre-approval all within a matter of minutes. 17 new car brands and thousands of used cars all in the palm of your hand. It's like an auto show every day at BillionAuto.com. All applications accepted. Not all will be approved. Don Peterson and Associates has over 50 years of real estate experience in Nebraska from residential, commercial, farms, and acreages. Don Peterson and Associates can provide guidance to help you succeed. The right real estate professional can make all the difference. Call Terry Wilkerson, Jane Seiler, or me, Deb Addison, at 402-254-9700. The agents at Don Peterson and Associates are proud supporters of all local students and athletes. and Associates. What does your phone and an auto show have in common? When you go to BillionAuto.com, everything. Start searching over 7,000 vehicles instantly. Chevys, Kias, GMCs, Toyotas, Fords, Hondas, Rams, and much more. Plus, negotiate your best deal on all pre-owned vehicles and apply for credit pre-approval all within a matter of minutes. 17 new car brands and thousands of used cars all in the palm of your hand. It's like an auto show every day at BillionAuto.com. All applications accepted. Not all will be approved. In North Platte, Cedar Catholic Trails, North Platte, St. Patrick's, the Irish on top. 7-0 to zero is your score. One drive is our scoring drive. We'll go over, and that took place in the second quarter. Eight play, five-yard rush to top it off was Nutter, the running back. For the touchdown, the extra point was good, and 7-0 to zero is your score. We talked about these defenses, very stout defense, and that is what is basically on showcase here tonight. Go over the stats, but first I want to absolutely recognize tonight's halftime sponsor, Bridget Whitmire of Lewis and Clark Realty. Whether you're buying or selling home or business, ag land or investment property in northeast Nebraska or southeast South Dakota, call Bridget Whitmire to get started today. Statistics definitely are showing exactly what I'm seeing, and it is a rushing attack by the Irish. Cedar Catholic really not getting anything going at all. They're not moving the football, and it's being confirmed here on paper. Let's go over the Irish statistics first, and the stats are brought to you by Doyle Stevens Construction, providing prompt expert service in the Midwest for over 24 years, along with loyal community support. That's a stat to be proud of. Davies is the backup running back. He's been their quarterback for most of the season. It looks to be, to me, I'm going to officially call him probably questionable or doubtful. He was out most of that second quarter. Had what looked to be an ankle injury. I would be surprised if he comes back, as it is. He had eight carries for 28 yards. Moats was very solid running inside the tackles, which is tough to do against that Cedar Catholic defense. Four carries, eight yards, tough running. Very, very tough inside, but it's Nutter. That's who the impressive one is. They're going to have to shut him down. 150 yards, 11 carries, 39 yards by the 150-pound running back, Nutter. He's going to get most of the call that Davies is not able to go. Passing is just not, doesn't have to be there. Uh, one for three, has has one completion, did result in a first down. Very efficient for North Platte St. Patrick's. Cedar Catholic side of the ball. Becker rushing the ball, four carries, seven yards. They've definitely found a way to shut him down. Taney. His, gonna, his numbers are going to look a little bit skewed because when you're rushing there and you're back there in the passing pocket, the sack, I'm going to attribute that and look at it. It's going to go down paper as a rush. It's just going to go as a negative. So it's going to show on paper where he has two big sacks, one across 14 
yards, and one was eight. Uh, they were for losses. So on paper, he's going to show us a minus 10 for rushing. That'll get corrected, I, I think, in the second half. As is Kleinschmidt, that's a couple carries for eight yards. Uh, Taney, he's sitting three for five, 19 yards. Last week, 119 yards, I believe, in the first half. So the passing game hasn't developed. The rushing game isn't there. Uh, Carson Harns has, has a catch. Kleinschmidt has a catch. One penalty that was was pretty important to have him right here it was offense pass interference. Didn't really do anything to change anything. The, the drive was it was just we're airing it out, throwing long balls, if you will, trying to make something happen. Uh, and Carson just reached up and got a fistful of jersey, so it was called there. One costly play had one pick. Uh, the interception there by Taney uh, just threw it a little bit short in that first quarter. And that led to his third interception of the season. So the interception probably the only thing I would point out that would would definitely be a game swinger so far. We'll see how that plays out as we get further into uh, the second half. Those are the statistics brought to you by Doyle Stevens Construction. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. I want to talk a little bit about the playoff bracket in Class C2. We'll be back in two minutes on The Current 94.3. It is critical to select the right real estate professional to help you buy or sell in today's changing market. Don Peterson and Associates is familiar with home selling in Northeast Nebraska, and we can offer great tips. Call Terry Wilkerson, Jane Seiler, or me, Deb Addison, for a no-cost market analysis to learn your home's top market value at 402-254-9700. The agents at Don Peterson and Associates are proud supporters of all local students and athletes. and Associates. What does your phone and an auto show have in common? When you go to BillionAuto.com, everything. Start searching over 7,000 vehicles instantly. Chevys, Kias, GMCs, Toyotas, Fords, Hondas, Rams, and much more. Plus, negotiate your best deal on all pre-owned vehicles and apply for credit pre-approval all within a matter of minutes. 17 new car brands and thousands of used cars all in the palm of your hand. It's like an auto show every day at BillionAuto.com. All applications accepted. Not all will be approved. The families of Doyle Stevens Construction wish to thank you for your business support and patronage. We are blessed with a loyal, hard-working concrete crew, good health, and happy grandkids. I'm McKenna. I'm Nate. I'm Elizabeth. Oh my mother, Doyle. I- The family and employees of Doyle Stevens Construction are proud supporters of the communities in which they serve and wish the best of luck to all area student athletes in this year's playoffs. Hi, this is Doris with Farmers Union in Hardington and Weeble House Service in Fordyce. We want to thank you for your continued patronage and we hope we can be of service to you going forward. Farmers Union Co-op in Hardington, providing exceptional service for over 90 years, is a proud supporter of our area students and athletes. When you're connected to a co-op, you never farm alone. Stop in at Farmers Union Co-op in Hardington today. No two breasts are the same. They're different sizes, different density, and they change over time. Sometimes they develop breast cancer. If you notice changes in your breast, call your provider to schedule a mammogram. Starting at age 40, put getting a mammogram with the Vera Breast Center on your yearly to-do list. We'll create a screening plan that makes sense for you. Find a screening location near you at avera.org slash breast. Nebraska, the site of tonight's Class C2 football playoff action between Cedar Catholic and North Platte St. Patrick's. Definitely want to talk about some of the brackets that's taking place around the state where the early game, and most of them are going to kick off here in about a half an hour. First one up is going to be North Fort Catholic, the number one seed against the 16 seed Crofton Warriors. They're making it into the bracket at the 16 seed. Tell Tanner will have the call on Riverfront Sports app. And if you're channel surfing looking for that game, tell we'll have the call here in about 15 minutes of pregame show will kick off. They are the 16 seed. That's going to be a tough matchup against head coach Jeff Beller's Norfolk Catholic squad, and that is taking place down there in Norfolk tonight. We're out here, the 8-9 seed, 
And the next one up on the bracket, Hastings St. Cecilia, 8-1 and one on the year, number five seed against number 12, Bishop Newman. Definitely storied programs there. UTAN, the number four seed, matched up against 13, Wilbur Claytonia. I know UTAN has already beat Wilbur Claytonia this year, and I expect that to continue again tonight. I think UTAN will get past the number 13 seed. Ord, the number three seed, taking on number 14, Centennial. We did not give any credit to Ord last year. I know Scott Cooster and I just kept picking around them, picking around them, and sure enough, they pulled it out. So 8-1, and one, Ord, the number three seed. I'm not going to look past them again this year. Number 11, Gordon Rushville, a team that played this St. Patrick's team I'm watching right now. They're the 11th seed playing Lincoln Lutheran. 6-3, and three, Gordon Rushville, and 7-2, and two, Lincoln Lutheran. That'll be a tough matchup. The sleeper that I'm going to call out in the bracket, though, is the number seven seed, Aquinas Catholic. Seven and two on the year, very tough every single year down there, David City Aquinas. And they're taking on number 10 seed, Sutton, six and three. Another one that I like, number 15, Oakland Craig. We talked about them in the pregame as well. And they're taking on number two, Archbishop Bergen. Nine and oh, the only undefeated team still left in Class C2 football. So outstanding bracket across the way. Half of them are going to be eliminated tonight, and we'll narrow it down to the quarterfinals and work our way in, and we'll see how things shape up. Players are just coming back out on the field here to get warmed up. We've got a few minutes to go here. We're going to take a little bit of a break. We'll come back, and we'll get to second half action. Let's take a three-minute break on The Current 94.3. Your Internet speed is the playbook for your home's Internet connection, and the router is your quarterback. With the correct play and speed, your quarterback should easily pass your internet signal to all the wireless devices in your home. And with Hartel Co.'s new speeds and an updated router, your internet will never fumble. Call Hartel Co. today so we can give you an official review of your internet playbook and see if your router can handle the fast speeds. And good luck this year to the Hardyton Newcastle Wildcats and Cedar Catholic Trojans. Look up. See that steeple on the hill? That's Mount Marty University, the region's premier Catholic university focused on academic excellence and student success. While you're exploring Yankton, stop by our campus, take a tour, meet our faculty, experience all of our changes and growth, and start imagining yourself as a Lancer. Now is the time to begin exploring your next big move. Visit mountmarty.edu and see yourself here. Confidentiality, loyalty, and professionalism while providing homegrown service. That's Stan Sudbeck with America's Best Realty. His years in agribusiness and construction help provide a knowledgeable background along with 20 years expertise as a licensed real estate agent in Nebraska and South Dakota. Stan's the man and a great asset to have on your team for buying or selling residential, commercial, and farmland. Call Stan Sudbeck with America's Best Realty, 402-841-5885. Good luck, students and athletes this season, and a special shout-out to number 78 Trojan entertaining. From the leader in irrigation technology, Valley brings you the smartest pivot controls available with the new Icon series of smart panels. The Icon family has a solution for every need. Whether you're buying a new pivot, upgrading your existing panel, or changing over from another brand, you have the advantage of operating an intuitive, full-color touchscreen interface with the simplicity you can only find in Icon. Smart panels made easy. Your local Valley Pivot dealer, Tiny Electric and Irrigation in Hardington, Nebraska. 402-254-2568. At Security Bank, we believe our relationship with our customers is more than just a series of transactions. We are committed to being a valuable resource in our communities, from checking and savings accounts, home, business, and ag loans, to the latest in banking services and technology. We make it our priority to bring the latest in banking conveniences to our communities and beyond. With locations in Laurel, Allen, Osmond, Hardington, and Coleridge, you don't have to go far to experience all the benefits Security Bank has to offer. Security Bank, now that's my kind of bank. Member FBI. Jerry's Service in Hardington specializes in bulk delivery of premium diesel and oil and quality mobile lubricants. Jerry's Service has transport and route trucks for fuel delivery and they will do custom blending of gasoline to fit your needs. Jerry's Service also has fuel storage tanks in stock with sizes from 300 gallons up to 2,000 gallon capacity. Serving Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota for 40 years, call 402-254-6546 or stop by Jerry's Service in Hardington wishing good luck to the Cedar Catholic Trojans in this year's playoffs. 
Growing up here in the Midwest, I learned the importance of family faith, hard work, honesty, integrity, and community contribution. All the values you want in a realtor. This is Bridget Whitmire with Lewis & Clark Realty. Whether you're buying or selling, home or business, ag land or investment property in Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota, give me a call and let's get started today. 402-649-0671. Wishing the best of luck to all our players, coaches, parents, and fans in the playoffs. For over 35 years, Cedar Security Bank has been helping people grow their businesses, build their homes, prepare for retirement, and answer financial questions. With locations in Hardington, Wynot, and Fordyce, their expertise is in the financial world, and it just makes sense to talk to the professionals. Cedar Security Bank, where their middle name is Security. Member FDIC. Cedar Security Bank is a proud supporter of all area students and athletes. Stay healthy and have a great season. When it's time for school, it's time to stop at Senex. You can fill up your car with high quality gas and fill up your stomach with a quick breakfast. Maybe most important of all, you can fill up your mug with hot coffee. So all you students and teachers, skip the snooze button and head into Senex on your way to school. Shop Easy, owned and operated by the Santee Sioux Nation, is open 24 hours for your convenience and wishes all area students and faculty a thriving, successful school year. here in North Platte, Nebraska. Thank you for joining us during our halftime show brought to you by Bridget Whitmire of Lewis and Clark Realty for tonight's sponsor. Seven to nothing is where we sit. We're just about all set to go here for second half action, 30 seconds to go. And we'll see what Coach Chad Cotto dials up and the changes that we make here before we get set on this Offensive series, Cedar Catholic won the toss, deferred to the second half. That's exactly what the Trojans want and what they like to do. Get that ball, get right out of the gate in the second half, set the tone, and we'll see if the Trojans can do that. You do just that. Quarterback Tate Taney, he will lead the squad down the field as quarterback, as we have since he's been a sophomore. Tate and his brother Miles, who graduated last year, they almost had a little bit of a quarterback you know, in-house, if you will, uh, controversy. Who was going to be quarterback there for a while? Ultimately, Miles was a fantastic wide receiver for Cedar Catholic. Tate took over the signal calling duties, and that was a fantastic duo for a couple of years for Cedar. As it is, we're going to need all that experience and then some to get past this tough number eight seed North Platte St. Patrick's Irish squad here tonight. Cedar Catholic is on the field, ready to go. A lot more energy coming out of the kids right now out of this halftime. And the Irish just now taking the field. Back deep for Cedar Catholic, number seven. That is Arns, along with 13. That will be Kleinschmidt. They both average about 20 yards per return on kickoffs. So very efficient. We have not had good field position coming out of the kickoff so far tonight. We'll see if that can change. Left-footed kicker all set to go from the 40. Kick is up. And a nice kick. Going to be fielded right at the 10 by Kleinschmidt. Good blocking up front across the 20. They got green grass in front of him. Across the 40. Got one man to beat. And he's going to be dropped at the 48-yard line. Nice run there by Kleinschmidt. A big play. Getting Cedar Catholic right out of the gate. He only had one man to beat. He was tripped up just short of midfield. That's where the Trojans will take over first and 10. I mentioned Kleinschmidt gets an average of almost 20 on those returns. And on that one there, he got about 40. First down and 10 for Cedar Catholic, just underway in the second half. One man to the near side, that's Arns. Two running backs, one on each hip of Taney. Snap back, option play straightforward, handoff is, is straightforward, and that's going to go to Kleinschmidt for a gain of nine. Good running, but better blocking up front by the line. Kleinschmidt had eight yards in the first half. He got nine on that one. Again, seven to zero, your score. The Irish from North Platte St. Patrick's on top of Cedar Catholic. The ball now is on the Irish side of the 50. 
at the 44-yard line, three wideouts to the far side, one to the near, option play to the far side. Taney keeps it first down, spinning, breaking tackles, a gain of about seven, and energy on Cedar Catholic side of the ball is much higher than we saw in that first half. Good running play there by the senior quarterback. Kleinschmidt now brings the play in from the sideline. Checking out for Cedar Catholic will be number five. That is Carson Arns. Wide receiver to the near side of the field, number 30. That's Carter Arns. I formation right behind Taney. First down and 10. Hand off the first man through this, Kleinschmidt. A gain of five, still on his feet, and he's going to be tripped up. We'll give him six yards, six hard earned yards. And now there is a player that's down on the field. As Kleinschmidt got six. And an Irish player's out there. We'll see. Keep it here for a minute. So outstanding. Coming right out of the gate is Kleinschmidt with a 40-yard return on the kickoff. And now a couple big plays. And there will be an injury timeout on the field. So we're going to take a 60-second break. We'll be back on the current 94.3. Did you know that using your debit card to pay in stores, online, or even within apps has never been easier or more secure? Now there's a better way to pay with Digital Wallet from Security Bank. Whether at the coffee shop, grocery store, or online, instead of making purchases using your plastic card, now you can pay with your smartphone, tablet, or smartwatch. Just touch, tap, pay the easy way with Digital Wallet from Security Bank. Ask about it today. Member FDIC. This is Lisa Cruzy with Cruzy True Value. We've been your local family-owned hardware store for over 30 years. From appliances to paint, hardware, decor, and more, we're your one-stop shop for your home improvement. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff will help you get the job done right and provide service after the sale. We appreciate your commitment to shopping local and truly enjoy serving our community. Best of luck to all the area student athletes in this year's playoffs. Work hard and make memories. From all of us here at Cruzy True Value in Arlington. into the secondary and he's going to be tripped up. A nice run there by Easton Becker for Cedar Catholic. That will move the chains first down and the Trojans feel like they're definitely running downhill to start the second half. A gain of about 17 there for Becker. Taney in the gun. One running back on each hip. Option play is to Becker. Tate decides to keep it himself, now turns north-south, and he's going to get a gain of five. Tough running there by Tate Taney. We'll bring up second down. Seven to zero is your score. 9.50 to go here in the third quarter, but this drive has been the one time tonight so far that Cedar Catholic's offense has had outstanding blocking up front and just a little more snap to it as same formation, Option play to the near side now. Taney pitches it to Easton Becker, turns north-south, has a lot of defenders in front of him. And we'll see what the official mark is. I don't know from my angle. He's getting close to that 10-yard line. If he was knocked down, it will be a third down. We'll give him a gain of about two on the play. So we'll bring up third down and... Three for Cedar Catholic. Ball is at the eight yard line of the Irish. And off second man through is Easton Becker. He's going to be stood up. I don't know if he got it. He's going to be very close to him. Depend on the spot if he got the first down. And it will be a fourth down call. So fourth down territory for Cedar Catholic. The kicking game 0 for 2 for field goals this year for Cedar Catholic. 21 of 29 for Blake Arns for extra points. This is definitely in that extra point range. 
And Coach Cotto says, we're going for it. It's fourth down and one. This is a very important Maryland eye. Quarterback keeper straight forward running first down. And then some. It could be touchdown. Cedar Catholic quarterback Tate Taney pushes it in from five yards out. And he gets the touchdown. Outstanding drive for Cedar Catholic that was started with a big return on the kickoff. It brought them up to the 48-yard line, and now a 52-yard drive capped off by a fantastic play there by Taney. Attempting the extra point for Cedar Catholic will be number four, Blake Arns. Snap, hold, kick is up. This one's low, and this one is no good. So 7-6 to six is your score. And that's where we sit. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back in 60 seconds on The Current 94.3. Jerry's Service in Hardington specializes in bulk delivery of premium diesel and oil and quality mobile lubricants. Jerry's Service has transport and route trucks for fuel delivery, and they will do custom blending of gasoline to fit your needs. Jerry's Service also has fuel storage tanks in stock with sizes from 300 gallons up to 2,000 gallon capacity. Serving Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota for 40 years, call 402-254-6546. Or stop by Jerry's Service in Hardington, wishing good luck to the Cedar Catholic Trojans in this year's playoffs. Growing up here in the Midwest, I learned the importance of family faith, hard work, honesty, integrity, and community contribution. All the values you want in a realtor. This is Bridget Whitmeyer with Lewis and Clark Realty. Whether you're buying or selling, home or business, ag land or investment property in Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota, give me a call and let's get started today. 402-649-0671. Wishing the best of luck to all our players, coaches, parents, and fans in the playoffs. Seven to six year score. Cedar Catholic now set the kickoff is Berniker. Ball is placed at the 40 yard line. Get the running start. Good kick. Drives them back. And this one's going to be fielded at about the five yard line. Straight forward and a great tackle there. A whole host of Trojans making the stop and everybody is amped up. Nice play there by Cedar Catholic. Coming out of that nice touchdown play there. Making six points for Cedar Catholic was Taney. Score big with all the products and services offered at Security Bank. That's my kind of bank. Seven to six is your score. And that scoreboard update is brought to you by Cruzy True Value, offering all the products you need to upgrade and maintain your home with the local neighborhood service you've come to expect. Seven to six, North Platte St. Patrick's on top of Cedar Catholic. 12 to go in the third quarter, but the Trojans absolutely have momentum. Hand off now to the third man through for the Irish. A gain of a couple, but lots of Trojans flying to the ball. Berniker, Tate Taney in there making a stop. And we'll give him a gain of about three on the play. That will bring up second down. That scoring drive was 52 yards, 11-play drive. Tate Taney capped off with a five-yard touchdown. Extra point was no good by Arns. And that was a very impressive scoring drive coming out of halftime. And a flag now comes in as a lot of confusion going on. Dead ball there, so it is a false start. Owen Deniger is in the middle of there being the ultimate cheerleader for that defensive front. The defense was shifting around and that got the offensive line to jump. So a penalty on North Platte St. Patrick's. That is their first of the contest. That will back them up five yards. Second down and 11. Ball placed at the 19-yard line. Double tight ends now for the Irish. One running back. And the ball's loose. So high snap. The ball's going to be loose, and it's going to be picked up. I believe Cedar Catholic has the ball. The ball comes squirting out of there, and the Trojans have it. 
Pitt got it first and goal at about the one. There was just a, a loose football in the backfield between the quarterback and the running back, and now all kinds of confusion for the Irish, and the Trojans are here to capitalize first and goal at the one-yard line. What a turn of events here in the second half. The offense is on the field. Cedar Catholic, Maryland. Rather check that three running backs in the backfield. Quarterback straight forward is Taney. He tries to dive underneath the lineman, and no signal from the side judge. It will bring up second down. He's officially going to be at the three, and he might have got a yard on that one. I thought it was closer when they initially started it. This is with the kicking, a little bit of a kicking woe going on. This is four down territory. Just drive this one home. Same formation. So it's like a diamond formation right behind the quarterback. And now a signal comes in from the referee as it was a quarterback keeper. And now North Platte St. Patrick's wants to talk things over. They call a timeout. We're going to take a quick timeout as well. We're going to bring it back here in 30 seconds on the current 94.3. At Security Bank, we believe our relationship with our customers is more than just a series of transactions. We are committed to being a valuable resource in our communities, from checking and savings accounts, home, business, and egg loans, to the latest in banking services and technology. We make it our priority to bring the latest in banking conveniences to our communities and beyond. With locations in Laurel, Allen, Osmond, Hardington, and Coleridge, you don't have to go far to experience all the benefits Security Bank has to offer. Security Bank, now that's my kind of bank. Member FDIC. Scott Ork back here in North Platte, Nebraska, as Cedar Catholic is knocking on the door trying to punch their ticket again. They just scored to make it a 7-6 to six contest. They are trailing by one point to the Irish with 6.57 to go in the third quarter, and now a fumble in the backfield for the Irish. Trojans recovered. Now they are set up. Second down and goal. Ball is at the one-yard line. Quarterback keeper straight forward. Signal, and there it is. Touchdown, Trojans. Taney on the keeper. And that will put Cedar Catholic on top of the Irish. It feels like all cylinders are clicking for Coach Chad Cotto and the Trojans right now. And now Cedar Catholic will go for two. Same formation, diamond formation. Quarterback keeper looks like a snap was a little bit early. Did a quarter? Did he make it? Quarterback keeper. And there it is. Two point conversion is good for Cedar Catholic. Tate Taney got the ball a little early, as it was. Everybody took off. Fourteen to seven is your score with six fifty four to go. We'll be back for more Cedar Catholic Trojan football in one minute on the current ninety four three. Jerry's Service in Hardington specializes in bulk delivery of premium diesel and oil and quality mobile lubricants. Jerry's Service has transport and route trucks for fuel delivery and they will do custom blending of gasoline to fit your needs. Jerry's Service also has fuel storage tanks in stock with sizes from 300 gallons up to 2,000 gallon capacity. Serving Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota for 40 years, call 402-254-6546 or stop by Jerry's Service in Hardington wishing good luck to the C Catholic Trojans in this year's playoffs. Growing up here in the Midwest, I learned the importance of family faith, hard work, honesty, integrity, and community contribution. All the values you want in a realtor. This is Bridget Whitmire with Lewis & Clark Realty. Whether you're buying or selling, home or business, ag land or investment property in Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota, give me a call and let's get started today. 402-649-0671. Wishing the best of luck to all our players, coaches, parents, and fans in the playoffs. Lots of hype by Cedar Catholic. That scoring drive, three yards, two plays, one yard touchdown run by Tate Taney, and then a two-point conversion by Taney. And that leads to our score of 14-7. to 7. The scoreboard update brought to you by 
Truzy True Value, offering all the products you need to upgrade and maintain your home with a local neighborhood service you've come to expect. The Irish now, first down and 10, handoff is to the third man through, and he's going to be hit in the backfield, shaken loose. However, a nice play. Ethan Becker hit him three yards deep. I believe that was Gavin Nutter, who will give him a gain of one on the play, but he was in deep trouble three yards deep when Becker hit him. The defense now stepping up just like the offense for Cedar Catholic here in the second half. Double tight end for the Irish. Two running backs in the backfield. Split. Fake handoff. Now they're looking to pass to the far side. They got a man wide open across the 40, and he overshot him. There it was. We talked about that before. They fake out. They do all these handoffs, and then they finally slip someone out, and he got past the safety and the corner as it was. He overthrew him. In the coverage was Arns along with Brandon Rohan. And a break for Cedar Catholic will bring up third down and eight. Five fifty six to go here in the third quarter. Cedar Catholic on top of North Platte St. Patrick's fourteen to seven. Split backs in the backfield, a wing back on the near side of the field. Looking to pass now, rolling out to the near side. He's got a man in the flat, wide open. Nice catch, near first down yardage, and it will be. Outstanding pass and catch. He had number 32. That was Hazenauer. So for a team that passes only 11% of the time on paper, an outstanding pass and catch, that will move the chains for first down. They went for a really long touchdown play there on second down. Third down, they were just going to move the chains, and that's all they got. They needed nine. They got 11. And now Cedar Catholic needs to respond on defense. Quick pitch to the far side of the field, and he's going to be tripped up. Got to the line of scrimmage, and we'll get him a gain of a couple more. Berniker making the tackle for Cedar Catholic, running the ball, I believe was Nutter again for the Irish. Here, lots more chatter from the Cedar Catholic side this this second half. Let's go D, stuff like that. It was quiet that first half. Never heard anything. Three running backs now for the Irish. Second one starts to slip out hand off to the first man through as the fullback. He's got three, maybe four yards. It's going to bring up third down and a couple. as they were handed that time to Motes. And we'll give him four, I believe, on the play. Motes has five carries, 12 yards on the night for the Irish. Same formation. Quarterback is under center. Three running backs stacked right behind him. No wide outs in the, in the pattern. Hand off again. Straight forward running. And he's going to be stood up. He isn't going anywhere. No gain on the play. It will force fourth down. The ball is placed right at the Cedar Catholic 46 and a half yard line. They need to get to the 45. See what they're going to do here. Cedar Catholic has one person ready to go if they need to put him back in pump receive formation. And it looks like they're going for it. Fourth down and a yard and a half, and the Irish are going for this one. Hand off the second man through, and they tripped him up. They got him. Cedar Catholic has stopped him. They are short of the first down and the line to gain. Making the stop for Cedar Catholic. Number eight was in there making an outstanding play. That is Brandon Rohan, along with number 30, making the tackle for Cedar Catholic. Also, it's Carter Arns, outstanding defense, and the Trojans will take over first down and 10 right at the 48-yard line. So 
turnover on downs for the Irish, and now Cedar Catholic's offense back on the field. The four wide outs, three in the pattern on the far side of the field, one on the near side. Blitz coming from the Irish. Quick pitch to the far side. Becker's got it. Turns north-south. He's got five. Can be tripped up. Give him a gain, tough gain of five yards on the play there for the senior running back. Becker had seven yards in that first half. He now has 24 here in the second half, just in this third quarter. I formation for Cedar Catholic. A couple wide outs on the far side of the field. Hand up as the first man through. That is Klein Schmidt. He was hit immediately, fell forward for a couple more, and that will bring up third down. Ball is placed on the North Patrick, uh, North Platte St. Patrick's side of the 50. And it's at the 46-yard line. Cedar Catholic needs to get to about the 43-yard line for a first down. Leading seven points on this game, up 14-7. to seven. I don't know if this is four-down territory. Now flag comes in. So there's a late flag comes flying in from the referee, and we have an illegal substitution on the Irish. This is going to lead to an automatic first down. By the time they march this off, so a sub, illegal substitution on the Irish. It will. So their chains move. Critical mistake on the Irish, and the Trojans get a free first down out of this one. After that, gets marched off. The ball is at the 41-yard line of the Irish. First down and 10 for Cedar Catholic. I formation, two wide outs on the near side of the field. Cedar Catholic looking to pass. Man over the middle is Berniker. He's got hands on it, almost near the first down. He's going to be stopped. Nice play there by Jackson Berniker. He's got soft hands, great basketball player, and as a tight end, makes a nice catch there, and that will move the chains. He needed 10, and I think that's exactly what he got. That's Teeny's first pass play in the second half, and Berniker's first catch of the night. Solid play. Snuck in behind the linebackers in front of the safety. And a nice play there to Berniker. First down and 10. Stack receivers on the near side of the field. Quick pitch play. Arns gets it, turns north-south, spinning off defenders. And he's going to get a tough three yards. Running the ball. We'll give it, it's actually technically going to be a pass play, but for Cedar Catholic, that's Grant Arns. And that will officially go down as about a two-yard play. Cedar Catholic playing very quick right now. Not not a slow pace. They're up on the ball, ready to go. One lone setback. That is Easton Becker, the senior running back. He gets the quick pitch call coming this way. Hunter Taney's out front leading, pushing people out of the way. And our, uh, gets, getting tripped up is Easton Becker. That's one of my favorite plays. Anytime I can see Hunter Taney, he's about 6'1", 6'2", 210 pounds getting out front pushing. I like that. He is one of the absolute best pulling guard and offensive lineman I've seen in the past few years for Cedar Catholic. When he gets out there, he clears the way, and that's exactly what happened. Moves the chains, first down. Nice play for Cedar Catholic. First down and 10, I formation. Hand off now. Easton Becker, straight forward running, and tough play. He isn't going to get very far on that one. A couple yards maybe, and that will bring up second down. It was said at halftime, we need to get the rushing attack going to set up the play action. I like when you just get the rushing attack going and just keep rushing it. That's exactly what we're seeing right now. Get this rushing game going. A couple yards there by Becker, but they were tough, tough yards. He had to fight for all of those. In the gun is Taney. Snap back. Flag comes flying in. I think this is going to be a motion. A lot of questions on that one. Coaching staff didn't think there was a flag as it was. Referee says, nope, had two people moving at once, so it will be a flag on Cedar Catholic. They were discussing it briefly. So that will move Cedar Catholic back. They took one of their running backs and put him in motion, and that caused a little confusion, and referee, referee threw a flag at it. So backs him up five, second down, and about 14 coming up here for Cedar Catholic. 
Barnes comes across the field, fakes a handoff, and now Tini's looking. He's got four wide receivers in a pattern. Looking now, he's got a man in motion. Flight comes flying in the backfield. Berniker had a nice catch there. He's down near the goal line. It's going to be negated. It'll be a block in the back here. Look like an offensive lineman had a block in the back. And it will. So one of our linemen had a block in the back on one of their defensive linemen that freed up Taney, so he had just another second to make a pass play. Would have put us down in first down territory and also within the 10-yard line. As it is, the red and white's going the wrong direction here the past two plays. Ten yards back him up now. Cedar Catholic will be sitting second down and long. Ball's going to be placed at about the 36-and-a-half-yard line. Resetting the game clock, giving, giving him another chance here. It's a little delay. Cedar Catholic has one wing back, one wide receiver on the far side, and two running backs on the backfield. Taney in the gun, snap back, option play to the far side, and Taney's in deep trouble in the backfield, scrambles in the back, turns north-south, breaks the tackle, and scrambles and gets back. He's just short of the original line of scrimmage. Turns something out of nothing as it was. And now the marker's still saying third down. The clock's going to run out, and that will be fourth down, rather that fourth quarter. So the end of the quarter is going to play out, and coming back, we'll be here for the fourth quarter action for Cedar Catholic Trojan football. 14-7 to 7 is your score. A 30-second break. We'll be back on the current 94-3. This is Lisa Cruzy with Cruzy True Value. We've been your local family-owned hardware store for over 30 years. From appliances to paint, hardware, decor, and more, we're your one-stop shop for your home improvement. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff will help you get the job done right and provide service after the sale. We appreciate your commitment to shopping local and truly enjoy serving our community. Best of luck to all the area student-athletes in this year's playoffs. Work hard and make memories. From all of us here at Cruzy True Value in Hardington. back here in North Platte, Nebraska, where we have a very good close contest going on. The Irish from the St. Patrick's High School, seven points on the scoreboard. Cedar Catholic, 14, as we start fourth quarter action. That scoreboard update brought to you by Cruzy True Value, offering all our products you need to upgrade and maintain your home with the local neighborhood service you've come to expect. Third down and long here for Cedar Catholic. Taney in the gun, three wide receivers, snap back. Taney rolling out, looking, airs it out. He's got a man in the flat. It's Orange that's going to be dropped. He had first down yardage and had a good hit right on him there by the defender, as it is fourth down coming up here for Cedar Catholic. It's probably four down territory. Just They're not going to gain anything. The ball's placed on the 25 the angle. It's hard for me to tell here, right at the 25. We're not going to – the field goal kicking has been – it really not even, they haven't even tried it really this year. 0 for 2 at this range. So I like the call. Go for it. Get something out of it. As it is, same formation for Cedar Catholic. Snap back. Taney. Got plenty of time. Pockets breaking down. He's got to get rid of it. And the ball's loose. It's incomplete. There's an incomplete pass. Everybody here is yelling in this booth that wants a fumble. As it is, Taney was trying to pass it, and the ball slipped out of his hand. It's like it slipped out of his grip. And the ball just just squeegeed out of his hand as it was. He was trying to pass it, and it didn't go anywhere except out of his hand and fell right to the ground. And North Platte picked it up and was going to run. And as it is, incomplete. So Cedar Catholic will turn it over on downs. That could have been a play of the game changing things right there. I'm sitting in a North Platte booth, if you can't, can't tell. Very, very important play. Lots of emotion here as this fourth quarter is just getting underway. 
Defense needs to step up, play big right here. Ball at the 25, North Platte, St. Patrick's Irish. They see now will take over, trailing by seven points, 14 to seven is what the scoreboard shows with 11.47 to go in this contest. 270-mile drive out here to North Platte. Got a lot of history coming out here to this community. Looking to pass now. Quarterback rolling out to the far side. Has, he's got a man. It's going to be tipped knocked down. Lerniker had got his hands up right at the line of scrimmage and knocked that one down. Great play. Mentioned got a lot of history. Came out here for a lot of years. Maloney Golf Course, just south of town, four or five miles. 15, 16, 17 those years. Came out and chased girls golf. The state golf meet was out here. Head coach Sheila Juden brought the state girl, the girls, Cedar Catholic girls golf team out here all those years. So I had to go out there and check out the old stomping grounds. It was kind of a throwback down memory lane. Had a lot of great memories out there. As it is for football season right now, and handoff now the first man through, and he's going to get a gain of a couple on that one, running the ball for the Irish. That was number. Th- That's going to be Nutter. They got their jerseys so bunched up, stuff freedom. Nutter. They got green jerseys, gold letters on them, and they get tackled so tight on there. It's tough to see. How Nutter going to get a gain of about six, and we'll bring up third down and four. Nutter's been their go-to. 15 carries on the night. He's got about 50 yards. Option play. Quarterback keeper. And he's going to be taken down for a loss. A big play there. Jackson Furniker takes him down in the backfield, and that will bring up fourth down. Quarterback option to the first man through. Decided to keep it, and right there in his face was Furniker, the long arm, six foot two, six three player. Had him, and he had nowhere to go. So, outstanding defense by the Trojans will force fourth down. Punt formation for the Irish, back deep for Cedar Catholic. Arns and Kleinschmidt. It's a fake. It's a fake, and now he's going to decide to soccer kick it and does get it to go away. Caught by Arns at the 34. He's got some running room in front of him. Turns at the 40. Still breaking tackles across midfield, and it's going to be in great position at the 48-yard line of the Irish. Very dangerous play that was covered well by the Trojans. Love that kind of a call. Playoffs, you see all kinds of stuff come out because the season is going to end for someone tonight. Well covered there, well coached also on both sides. The Irish had nowhere to go with it, so they decided, no, we're not going to try to do this. We're going to actually punt it now. As it is, first down and 10, leading 14-7. to seven. The ball on the Irish side of the 50. Quick pitch to the far side. Easton Becker turns north-south, gain of five. First down yardage, still on his field. And Becker still on his field. Breaks the tackle, and he's going to be brought down at the 20-yard line. Easton Becker, a gain of 25 yards. Easton Becker is starting to turn this into a ground-and-pound game. We saw this last year with him. He had well over 1,000 yards. He only has about 700 this year. So far in the second half, it has been Easton Becker outstanding rushing by the senior running back. Stack formation for Cedar Catholic on this first down and 10 play. Becker is the only running back. Handoff, straightforward running by Becker. Tripped up, line of scrimmage. He's going to gain a gain of a few. We'll see where they officially mark him down. I think that was a gain of four. Check that three on the play, and the clock will continue to roll. 9.39 to go in this contest. The Trojans knocking on the door, though. Ball is placed at the 23-yard line of the Irish. One wide out is Arns to the far side. Another wide out to the near. I formation for Cedar Catholic. Handoff is to Kleinschmidt, the first man through. He's got real close to that first down yardage before he took a humongous hit from the linebacker. As it is, it will be just short of the first down, line to gain. Gain of about five, and it will bring up third down. That's Kleinschmidt's fifth carry on the night. And he has unofficially 20... 
seven yards. Maryland I formation. Taney under center, three running backs stacked straight behind him. Quarterback keeper straight forward and everybody's pushing. First down yards. We've seen that from Coach Cottle for years. He stacks all those running backs right behind Taney. And that's a quarterback keeper, and everybody just gets behind him and just pushes and pushes, and that moves the chain. So great execution by the kids, smart coaching by the coach, and that will move the chains first and ten. Needed a couple, got four. And that was Taney's 11th carry as well. Ball now at the 15-yard line. So they're inside the red zone. Same Maryland I formation. Got Klein Schmidt, Becker. Quick pitch to the far side is Becker. He's got four guys in front of him blocking. Lots of traffic. First down yards, and then he's going to eventually be knocked out of bounds, I believe. Ty Taney, the sophomore, also was the second back. He was blocking, and that will bring up second down. We'll see where the official mark is. Anything can happen in these playoff games, but you put another touchdown up on the board with the way this defense is playing, and it will get very, very tough for North Platte. I think they're going to they're going to do an official measurement. We're going to keep it right here. So the official timeout on the field just for a measurement. But it's the, where the measurement is going to take place is right where the chains are. So it's. It should only take a second, and there it is, a first down. So first and goal coming up from Cedar Catholic. And the, the ball's on right at the five-yard line. So Maryland I formation. North Platte St. Patrick's, there's five rushing plays coming, or four rushing plays coming right at you here. Here's the first one, the Becker. And they well defended that one. Lots of extracurriculars going on, and they wanted to stop that one. So great defense stopping it. The trouble is the clock, seven and a half, and it's ticking away. Every time they run this, there's another 30 seconds coming off. Coach Cotto is definitely, I see him, he's looking up there at the clock. Time management, eat as much of the clock as you can. Again, 14-7, to seven, Cedar Catholic on top of the Irish, the eighth seed in the Class C2 bracket. Snap back coming up here to Taney. Handoff is to Becker. Off the right side, he's got an opening, and he's in for the touchdown. Easton Becker, the senior running back, punches it in for another Cedar Catholic touchdown. Becker Bank, six points for Cedar Catholic. Score big with all the products and services offered at Security Bank. That's my kind of bank. Outstanding play for Cedar Catholic. Punching that one in from five yards out was Easton Becker. And the Trojans definitely take a commanding lead here with 6.59 to go, just under seven minutes in this fourth quarter. Cedar Catholic wants to take a quick timeout. They're going to get things lined up here for their extra point attempt. And now Coach Cotter wants to talk over the referee, so I'm not maybe going to do some trick play. We'll keep it right here just because this will be a quick timeout just to get things lined up right. But outstanding play as Cedar Catholic marching down the field, having pretty much their offense do what we've seen in the past few weeks. Outstanding blocking up front, very efficient running by Taitini, by Becker, and by Kleinschmidt, and that scoring drive is capped off by Easton Becker on a five-yard rushing play off the right side of that offensive line. Outstanding play there by the senior running back. Coming up here in about seven minutes, we'll have the Shop Easy post game. That'll be a post-game show that I need you to stick around for. We're going to go over statistics. And can't look down the road too far yet because the games aren't played out. But it's either going to be Norfolk Catholic or Crofton. One of these two teams we're calling tonight is going to match up against one of those two teams. And hope you stick around for the finish. Cedar Catholic will be going for a two-point conversion. Man on each hip of Taney. 
snap back option play now and a flight comes flying in late. I don't know what this call is going to be. As it is, the try is no good. We'll see what the call is. The call is against Cedar, and so it will be no good. So a no good on the try. Call against Cedar. It's an illegal shift, so that will be no good. We're going to take a 30-second break. We'll be back with more Trojan football on the current 94.3. This is Lisa Cruzy with Cruzy True Value. We've been your local family-owned hardware store for over 30 years. From appliances to paint, hardware, decor, and more, we're your one-stop shop for your home improvement. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff will help you get the job done right and provide service after the sale. We appreciate your commitment to shopping local and truly enjoy serving our community. Best of luck to all the area student-athletes in this year's playoffs. Work hard and make memories. From all of us here at Cruzy True Value in Hardington. drive there by Cedar Catholic to take a commanding lead late in this contest. 6.59 to go, and they are up 20-7 to 7 over North Platte St. Patrick's. The Irish, the eighth seed, held the lead of 7-0 to 0 in the first half, and in the second half, it has been all the Trojans, offense and defense, and now Cedar Catholic up 20-7. to 7. Kicking off for Cedar Catholic following that touchdown is Berniker. Good kick, fielded at the 10-yard line by Motes, across the 20, 25, 30, still on his feet. He's going to be brought down just short, right at the 36-yard line. 20-7 to 7 is your score, and the scoreboard update brought to you by Cruising True Value, offering all the products and services to maintain your home with local neighborhood service you've come to expect. Outstanding play, and now there's a player out there who has a cramp, so I don't think this is going to be a major injury. We're going to keep it right here. Again, Scott Ulrich out here in North Platte, Nebraska, 270 miles from home. Came out earlier today. It's a beautiful drive, not a breath of wind, and 65 degrees out here. Sure doesn't feel like we're almost in November, but it definitely feels like playoff football action right now. It's cooling off, and it's perfect. Mention a little bit about the bracket. It's hard to look down the road. You've got to get past a tough team like this, but someone's going to line up against a tough team of Norfolk Catholic or a scrappy team of Crofton that got into the playoffs. Whoever gets out of this one is going to line up in the quarterfinals. Whirling out to the far side is Hess. He's got a man and is going to be knocked out of bounds. It will be a completion. Three yard gain on the play as it is. Grant Arns made a nice defensive position there to hold and kick the receiver out of bounds before he's able to turn the corner. It will bring up second down. That was Hazenauer making the reception for the Irish. The storyline for this game, starting running back for the Irish, was not in the lineup due to an injury. That was Jackson Roberts, well over 1,000 yards on the season. So the quarterback, Josh Davies, took over the running back duties, and then he was knocked out as well of this game. As it is, now the Irish looking to pass, scrambling to the near side, got a man over the middle, and it's going to be caught right at the 44-yard line. Nice pass and catch there, number 41, for the Irish, that was Justin Schroll making the catch, a gain of 16 on the play. And on the coverage for Cedar Catholic was number seven. That was Grant Arns, but that will move the chains for a first down. Irish pass on 11% of the plays, and now they're almost forced to pass all the time. Pass rolling out to the far side, airing it out. Big play down the far side, double coverage, and it's going to be incomplete at the goal line. In on the coverage was number three, that was Tate Taney, along with number 25 for Cedar Catholic, Keaton Steffen, the junior. And that will stop the clock with 6.16 to go. Second down coming up. Ball is placed at the 
44-yard line of Cedar Catholic, and everywhere we look, it's got to be four-down territory for the Irish. Brandon Rohan is the defensive back on the far side of the field, and now it's going to be a trick play to the near side. It looked like it's going to be a pass play to the far side over there towards Rohan. As it was, it was a run play to the near side. And it's going to be stopped. Just a very short gain on that one. It will bring up third down for the Irish. Clock rolling, and now the Irish have a, definitely a sense of urgency on this third down play. Hand off the first man through first down yardage, and then he's going to be stopped. So a gain of about three, making a tackle for Cedar Catholic. Owen Deniger is in there. Uh, number eight, we just mentioned him, Brandon Rohan. Nice play for Cedar Catholic. Also number 30, that's Carter Arns. And Coach Cotto says if they want to run the football, that's just fine. Trailing 20 to 7. Clock is definitely on Cedar Catholic side right now. 5:30 to go in this contest. Fakes a bunch of handoff. Hunter Taney is chasing him and definitely gets this ball away and is going to be thrown out of bounds. Hunter gave him one last shove and then Hunter Taney. I think there are some extra comments. A late flag is going to come flying in now. There was a. There was a lot of late charging going on over there, and now, okay, so there was the ball come when Hunter gave a push. You weren't sure if it was a late push or or how the pass went, but where the ball was thrown, there was not a wide receiver anywhere. But Hunter was closing the gap so fast that Hess just threw it away, and now the flag is actually for intentional grounding on Hess on North Platte. So that is very troubling for the Irish. So that will be marched off. And now it's going to be second and long for the Irish after a loss of down and the penalty. Handoff is the second man through now for the Irish, and he will be stopped. So a gain of about four on the play, making the stop for Cedar Catholics, number 30, Carter Arns. Rohan also making a tackle. Third down and about 13 coming up after that short gain by Motes. Four fifty to go, and the Irish don't have a play in there yet. They're sending it in from the sideline. The clock is continuing to roll. Hunter Taney's speed on a defensive front just very impressive. Four thirty now, and the Irish are just about ready. And there's some confusion in the backfield. They're giving instructions to the. You got to be almost a delay a game here. Finally, the snap, and now they're rolling out far side. Quarterback's in trouble. Hess is in deep trouble, and he's going to be taken down. There's the sack, the second one for Cedar Catholic. Getting back there first is number 57, Ethan Becker, making the tackle in the backfield, and that will bring up fourth down and about 15 for the Irish. Two timeouts left for each coach. So I won't say this is the game, but 3.48 to go. There's Cedar Catholic can stop them here and definitely put the Irish in a very difficult spot. Has to, I'm looking to pass. Got one receiver to the near side. He's going to air it out, and he's going to overthrow him. He was just throwing that one up and in hopes, and you can just tell a, a team that is not used to passing the ball when they're forced to, it just looks uncomfortable for them, and that's where we're at here. So Cedar Catholic will take over first down and 10. The ball is at about the 37-yard line, and there's 3.34 to go in this contest, leading 20-7. to First half, all Irish. Trojans just did not look, look comfortable in offense, defense. They just didn't really look like they were in their rhythm. And the second half, it's been all Cedar Catholic. I have to think there'll be a lot of time management plays here from Coach Cotto. He's been in the playoffs a lot of years. Tate Taney now, handoff is the first man through. That is Klein Schmidt, still on his feet, a gain of a couple. 
And that will bring up second down. So we'll get a – Clinchman actually going to give him three. Second down and seven coming up for Cedar Catholic. Head coach Kevin Dodson has two timeouts. And the clock now, as we're talking here, just is going to go under three minutes. So he's going to have to start using these timeouts here pretty quick, trailing by two scores. Taney is waiting for the back judge to signal that he's got five seconds to go before he gets a flag for delay game. There he snaps it, snap back, handoff is to Easton Becker. Flag comes into the backfield, and now Becker's going to be tripped up at about midfield. And I think this is going to be a hold. official signal and it will be a hold on Cedar Catholic in the backfield. Easton Becker was in a little bit of trouble about four yards deep so a lineman grabbed there to give him some free space to move around. Penalties right at the initial line of scrimmage so this is going to move him back. We're bearing up about first and 20. Check that second and 20. They'll be just short of a 30. Now the clock will continue, 2.35 to go, but second down and 20. High formation, Cedar Catholic has one wide receiver to the near side, and Taney, this is where a senior quarterback, the signal caller, he isn't doing anything. He's staring at the back judge, is all he's doing, and now the back judge puts his hand up, signaling you have five seconds to go before the delay game call. Now he snaps the ball. Handoff is to Becker, staying in bounds. Becker also stays in bounds, doesn't go out of bounds to stop the clock. Clock continues to roll. That's a couple seniors right there making very smart plays. North Platte St. Patrick's, they want to talk things over. They're going to take a timeout. We're going to take a quick one also and sneak in a couple more. We'll be back in 30 seconds on the current 94.3. Look up. See that steeple on the hill? That's Mount Marty University. The region's premier Catholic university focused on academic excellence and student success. While you're exploring Yankton, stop by our campus, take a tour, meet our faculty, experience all of our changes and growth, and start imagining yourself as a Lancer. Now is the time to begin exploring your next big move. Visit mountmarty.edu and see yourself here. Back here in North Platte, where the Trojans are leading the Irish 20 to 7, with 2:04 to go in the fourth quarter. Third down and 17 coming up. The ball is on the 31-yard line of Cedar Catholic. A first down would close this game out, but they're third and long right now, and we'll see what Cedar Catholic dials up. The Irish have one timeout left. Coach Cato has two for Cedar Catholic. Quarterback keeper off the left side and is going to be tackled for a loss is Taney. So a loss of three on the play, and now the Irish the Irish will take their final timeout. We're going to keep it right here. This is just going to be a quick one just to stop the clock. So Taney is tackled for a quick loss. That was all just to burn that last timeout. Fourth down and long. It's almost fourth and 20. If they can just get the punt off here and force North Platte, who can't pass the ball efficiently, we've seen that throughout this contest. Hess is uh, four completions and four. He's got eight, so he's four for twelve on the night. Just not, they're just not built around a passing game. I would talk to one of the school administrators and uh, before the game. He said the same. He goes, if you've watched North Platte St. Patrick's football for the last 20 years, we do the same thing. And I go, run? And he goes, yeah, we just run the football. That's just how they they do things here. It's unfortunate that you have a star running back in Jackson Roberts who's just carried the workload of their rushing game, get him, help get him here. He's injured last week. Then their backup running back, who is their starting quarterback, gets injured in the first half. That that's their storyline of this game. You hate to see that for the kids, and that's unfortunate. As it is with two, oh, sorry, 156 to go, 
20-7 is your score, and Jackson Berniker all set to punt the ball. Irish is set at the 40, set to field it. Nice wobbling kick, fielded at the 35, fake the reverse, and coming to the near side, turning the corner, and is going to be pushed out of bounds at about the midfield. That was Will Motes. So after all said and done, it's going to turn into a eight yard, about eight yards, maybe nine. So very good return there by North Platte. So the Irish are going to have to work the sidelines or work it deep because there's a minute 42 to go and they don't have any timeouts left. Now Hess has Hunter Taney chasing him. Easton Becker's in, uh, in pursuit and now passing over the middle and he's going to be incomplete. Well covered there was Rohan. He was right on the receiver near the first down marker. As it was, he wouldn't have been able to get out of bounds if, and being incomplete probably did the Irish a favor as they would have burned a lot of clock up. Down, still down two scores in this contest. I encourage you to stick around for the Shop Easy post game show. We'll have immediately following this game, go over statistics, the Avera player of the game, and we're going to talk about the matchups for next week, next Friday night. Hess in the gun, snap back, four wideouts heading, everybody's going to the end zone. He's got lots of room, steps up in the pocket, airs this one up, 40 yards, he's got two men deep in the field, and he had it right at the end zone and dropped it. He had two receivers right there, I believe Motes was one of them. I don't know if one of our guys got a hand on it, it was in a far corner, but there was definitely an option there for Hess in the corner. 45 yards in the air, Hess was able to throw that one. Nice play as it is, it will bring up third down. One twenty-six to go, third down and 10 for the Irish. See a lot of high-fiving going on down here. Trojans sure look like this one's going to be about wrapped up. Cedar Catholic in a prevent defense, five defensive backs, three down linemen. Now another one steps up. Now they got four up front. Three linebackers, and now everybody steps back, just preventing the deep ball. Pass to the far side, first down, and he's able to get out of bounds. Pass complete to Will Motes for 15. That'll move the chains and keep things alive. Hess needed that one. That's his first completion in his last six attempts. This is the first time these schools have met up since 2016. Cedar Catholic came out. They were victors of that game. It's only the second time, though, these two schools have ever matched up in playoff football action. I've seen both of them call both of these games. As is Hess now in the gun, snap back. He's in trouble. He's got pressure from Easton Becker. Gets this one away, throws it up in the corner of the end zone. This one's going to be out of bounds. And Owen Deniger is showing lots of emotion out there. He had a chance for a sack, lost his footing. With a minute 13 to go, it will bring up second down. <laughs> Coach Cotto's down here yelling out instructions. He wants, with a lot of animation, he wants Titani in there right now. Checking out is Owen Danger. He's coming out, so another defensive back comes into the into the mix. Snap back. Hess rolling out. Flight comes into the center of the line, airing this one out to the deep corner of the end zone and overshot everyone as Hess. But there's a flag right at the line. This one came in from the back judge. And we'll see what the official call is. It will be a hold on the offensive line. So do they want to send them back? And Coach Cotto says yes. So they could either accept it and march them back 10 yards, and then they keep second down or decline it, leave them where they're at, and move the third down. Coach Cotto says move them back 10 yards. So they're going to keep second down, move them back 10 yards. It'll be second down and about 21. Ball's going to be placed at the 46-yard line with a minute five to go in this contest. 20-7 to seven is your score if you're just tuning in here on the current. 
Cedar Catholic has done well in first round action in previous years. Last year, coming way out west here to Bridgeport, which is another couple hours west. Low snap, back to Hess. He's under pressure by Taney. Get this one away now, and it's going to be incomplete. They're just they're just airing it out. Forty yard, you know, hail mary passes, if you will, uh, trying to make something happen, and they really don't have no other option. That's that's good plays. Under a minute now, 57 seconds to go, and I guarantee these wide receivers are getting out of air. They've done about six or seven of these plays in a row where these guys are just they're just go routes, go as fast as you can down the sideline and try to get down there and make a play because you got to make this play and then try to get onside kick and make it again. Four wide receivers continuing the same formation for the Irish. The defensive line is just a free play just to take off and go get them. And here they come. They're coming at the Hess. They missed him. Got it away as a nice play catch. Their gain of about eight as everybody was coming trying to get a sack. If you could get a sack right now and burn a bunch of clock, this game would be over. It was a nice catch, gain of seven. Cedar Catholic starting to feel it. I'm on the Cedar Catholic side. The player's right down in front of me. There's a track in between us, but you can sure feel it. It's just about happening. Fifty seconds. Fifty point five on the clock. Twenty to seven is your score. Has snap back. Titanium pursuit. Airs this one out going deep and it's gonna be is it intercepted? Did they get it? It's intercepted. Picked off in the end zone is Cedar Catholic. Outstanding play, making the interception for Cedar Catholic. I believe that was number seven, Grant Arndt. Grant and Tate Taney were both right there, and they both got up. I don't know who had it. I think Grant got the got the interception. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but they were both right there, and they got up celebrating. So outstanding play. Cedar Catholic is going to be victorious out of this first round Class C2 playoff game here. A tough one in North Platte against the Irish of St. Patrick's High School. And it will all be the victory formation. There's a kneel down by Taney. And that's just about going to do it. We'll see if 35 seconds. I think they might have to take one more snap. Again, following the conclusion of this game, we'll take a break, and then we will come back for the Shop Easy Post Game Show, go over some statistics, the player of the game, talk a little bit about next week. And outstanding game here by Cedar Catholic. And a more impressive second half. What a second half here by Coach Cotto and these Trojans. The big red machine of Cedar Catholic High School is moving on to the second round as the clock ticks down 3, 2, and 1. And there's the final tick. Outstanding game by the Trojans here in North Platte. We'll be back in three minutes for the postgame show on The Current 94.3. Confidentiality, loyalty, and professionalism while providing homegrown service. That's Stan Sudbeck with America's Best Realty. His years in agribusiness and construction help provide a knowledgeable background along with 20 years expertise as a licensed real estate agent in Nebraska and South Dakota. Stan's the man and a great asset to have on your team for buying or selling residential, commercial, and farmland. Call Stan Sudbeck with America's Best Realty, 402-841-5885. Good luck, students and athletes this season, and a special shout-out to number 78 Trojan entertaining from the leader in irrigation technology valley brings you the smartest pivot controls available with the new icon series of smart panels the icon family has a solution for every need whether you're buying a new pivot upgrading your existing panel or changing over from another brand you have the advantage of operating an intuitive full color touchscreen interface with the simplicity you can only find in icon smart panels made easy your local valley pivot dealer tiny electric and irrigation in hardington nebraska 402-254-2568 
Hi, this is Doris with Farmers Union in Hardington and Weeble House Service in Fordyce. We want to thank you for your continued patronage and we hope we can be of service to you going forward. Farmers Union Co-op in Hardington, providing exceptional service for over 90 years, is a proud supporter of our area students and athletes. When you're connected to a co-op, you never farm alone. Stop in at Farmers Union Co-op in Hardington today. At Caton International in Crofton, Albion, and Neely, they know maintaining your equipment's health keeps it running at peak performance. That's why they carry genuine Case IH lubricants, filters, and batteries for your total maintenance solutions. Achieve longer service and higher performance with OEM lubricants. Maximize your machine's efficiency with Case IH approved filters. Depend on quick starting batteries designed to handle extreme vibrations and temperatures. Visit Caton International in Crofton, Albion, and Neely today and purchase genuine Case IH lubricants, filters, and batteries. Good luck to the Crofton Warriors this season. Whether building or remodeling, let the professionals at West Hudson Lumber Company help you get started today. From hardware, kitchens and doors, to windows, siding and more, West Hudson has you covered. As a locally owned, independent, do-it-best member, West Hudson Lumber Company proudly serves the communities of Crofton, Osmond, Bloomfield, Niobrara, Wausau, Randolph, Pierce, Plainview and Norfolk. West Hudson is a proud supporter of all area students and athletes and wishes all the kids, teachers, coaches and parents a healthy, thriving school year and sports season. The families of Doyle Stevens Construction wish to thank you for your business support and patronage. We are blessed with a loyal, hard-working concrete crew, good health, and happy grandkids. I'm McKenna. I'm Nate. I'm Elizabeth. Oh my mother Doyle at Doyle Stevens Construction. The family and employees of Doyle Stevens Construction are proud supporters of the communities in which they serve and wish the best of luck to all area student athletes in this year's playoffs. back here in North Platte, Nebraska, where Cedar Catholic comes out of the first round of the playoffs victorious against the Irish. 20-7 to is your score. An outstanding game and an outstanding second half. Let's go over the scoring drives. The second quarter was the first time we saw the scoreboard light up. A scoring drive, eight-play drive. Nutter, the running back from North Platte, capped it off with a five-yard running, running play. The extra point was good, and North Platte took the seventh to zero lead. In the third quarter, 52-yard, 11-play drive. Tate Taney capped off a five-yard run. That was how Cedar Catholic first got on the board, and the extra point was no good. Quickly there followed after, though, after falling off turnover. Three-yard, two-play drive. Tate Taney had a one-yard run for a touchdown, and the two-point conversion was good by Taney as well. And then in the fourth quarter, eight-play drive, Easton Becker gets a five-yard touchdown run. And then that is where we finally sat at 20-7. to seven. Cedar Catholic is going to come out of North Platte victorious. Very, very tough, hard-earned victory. And I think the kids are definitely going to learn something coming out of this one. This post-game show is brought to you by Shop Easy. When you need a quick break, stop in for fuel, food, and drinks. Shop Easy is open 24-7 for your convenience. We need to go over some statistics here. The stats tell it all. Every single game we can look at this and go, yep, that makes perfect sense when you break it down. Stats are brought to you by Doyle Stevens Construction, providing prompt expert service in the Midwest for over 24 years, along with loyal community support. That's the staff to be proud of. Over North Platte, St. Patrick's. There's a tale of two halves. Davies in the first half rushing the ball at eight carries for 28 yards. He was done. He got injured. He was their starting quarterback for the, the most of the season. He filled in the running back duties, and after those 28 yards and eight carries, never saw him in the second half, unfortunately. Motes had nice carries the first half. Second half, so only saw three, finished 16 yards. Nutter, he carried the workload for everybody on, on the Irish side of the ball. 16 carries. Quieted him down in the second half. He had 39 in the first half, 17 yards in the second half, finished with 56 yards, very respectable. The passing game, it looks deceiving because they kept having to air it out so much, trying to make something happen. Hess is going to finish 6 of 17, 57 yards. Two turnovers is probably the tail of the game, though. 
for the Irish. And that one that was critical, they fumbled down inside their own five, and that's the stats for North Platte. Looking at Cedar Catholic stats, there's definitely one that's going to jump out, and i got to save this one to the end. But looking at Taney, he's got Taney for rushing. There's a bunch of minuses in there. He was sacked four times. Haven't seen that this year. A little bit of breakdown in coverage by the offensive line. He's going to finish with all those those sacks. He's going to equate to his rushing. He's only going to finish positive 10 yards rushing. But Kleinschmidt, 31 yards, very solid rushing by the, the running back, Kleinschmidt. Becker, though, seven yards, four carries. Very quiet in that first half. He's going to finish with 12 carries, 73 yards by the senior running back. Turn things around in that second half. Carries of 17, 25 yards. Just put his head down and was not going to be stopped. Becker, I was very impressed with rushing the football. Taney passing the ball was efficient. Didn't have to really go out of his way and do a lot of stuff with it. Ended up finishing four for nine, was 50%, which is right about where he's at for the year. Uh, he's 52% on the year, but he's quiet. He's 31 yards. He didn't have to make no big plays. It was the efficiency of Becker running the ball. One interception, uh, there was an ill advised or shorter pass. You, you need to throw a little farther, uh, but that short pass definitely could have cost uh, Cedar, and it's one of those that he'll learn from it and take away from it. But three uh, penalties on Cedar Catholic that turned into 30 yards. So very clean on both sides of the ball for penalties. Uh, Five total total penalties I I thought was very clean for a high school game. And you see that when you get to the playoffs, the kids are much more efficient. And that's your statistics brought to you by Doyle Stevens Construction. But it can break. We'll come back here. Well, we've got to pick the Avera player of the game. Look down the road for next week. And uh, just talk a little bit more about these players. They played an outstanding second half. We'll be back in two minutes on the current 94.3. For over 35 years, Cedar Security Bank has been helping people grow their businesses, build their homes, prepare for retirement, and answer financial questions. With locations in Hardington, Wynot, and Fordyce, their expertise is in the financial world, and it just makes sense to talk to the professionals. Cedar Security Bank, where their middle name is Security. Member FDIC. Cedar Security Bank is a proud supporter of all area students and athletes. Stay healthy and have a great season. When it's time for school, it's time to stop at Senex. You can fill up your car with high quality gas and fill up your stomach with a quick breakfast. Maybe most important of all, you can fill up your mug with hot coffee. So all you students and teachers, skip the snooze button and head into Senex on your way to school. Shop Easy, owned and operated by the Santee Sioux Nation, is open 24 hours for your convenience and wishes all area students and faculty a thriving, successful school year. No two breasts are the same. They're different sizes, different density, and they change over time. Sometimes they develop breast cancer. If you notice changes in your breast, call your provider to schedule a mammogram. Starting at age 40, put getting a mammogram with the Vera Breast Center on your yearly to-do list. We'll create a screening plan that makes sense for you. Find a screening location near you at avera.org slash breast. Your internet speed is the playbook for your home's internet connection, and the router is your quarterback. With the correct play and speed, your quarterback should easily pass your internet signal to all the wireless devices in your home. And with Hartel Co.'s new speeds and an updated router, your internet will never fumble. Call Hartel Co. today so we can give you an official review of your internet playbook and see if your router can handle the fast speeds. And good luck this year to the Hardyton Newcastle Wildcats and Cedar Catholic Trojans. Mark back here in North Platte. Thank you for joining us for today's Shop Easy post game show. When you need a quick break, stop in for fuel, food, and drinks. Shop Easy open 24 7 for your convenience. Cedar Catholic wins against the North Platte St. Patrick's Irish 20 7. Down 7 0 at the half. Finished up 20 7. Very, very convincing second half victory for Cedar Catholic. Statistics, they definitely tell the tale. Got the rushing game going, turned things around, and the defense turned on everybody on the sideline from the fans to the players. The defensive squad turned things up, and it was definitely noticeable calling this game. A lot more uh, 
plays were taking place. Just kids were just flying all around the field. And uh, you, you could tell that in the second half, the first half, you just did not see it. When you see something like that, though, the kids that, that jump out and, and they just seem like they're a step quicker. And that is definitely something that I love to recognize each and every week. Sometimes they, it's tough to get a lineman in there. You know, he's just the linemen don't score, things like that. But I love picking out players of the game. And this one is, is one of those. This kid has earned the player game several times, but you don't get kids in the end zone without great blocking. So for every time a running back gets a player of the game, i got to give kudos to the linemen. The great blocking up front is how you get running backs in the end zone, and they did great blocking. But tonight's a Vera player of the game, 12 rushes, 66 yards in the, six, 66 yards in the second half, 12 carries total. Uh, that's what made the difference with those 66 yards in the second half. Easton Becker is going to finish with 73 yards in the entire game. He is the Avera player of the game. Changed the complexity of this game, breaking out to the outside, hard rushing, and it was the contact after uh, that he would, he would make after the contact. He would get hit and then get another four or five yards. That's why I have to pick Easton. I, it's one of those Tate got in the end zone twice just by, you know, he had great calls and great plays. But Easton, I just thought he put his head down and tried a little harder every single yard, and he really earned that from me. Uh, so tonight's a Vera player of the game is Easton Becker. Outstanding, outstanding play. Looking down the road, Cedar Catholic's moving on. They're moving into the quarterfinals Friday, November 5th. They're going to go up against either number one North Fork Catholic, which we've called that game just a week ago, Tell Tenner and I did. Uh, or number 16, Crofton, and they've played that school as well just a few weeks ago. It was a 20-6 to contest. Right now at the half in Norfolk, the score is 14-0. to Norfolk Catholic is on top of Crofton. So that game is close. There is definitely a, a lot of tradition that takes place there, and I'm not going to count anyone out until that game is over. So if it is going to be against Norfolk Catholic, that will be in Hardington next week. I believe it doesn't matter how it shakes out. It's going to be in Hardington, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we will have a home game in Hardington, and we will have the announcement of that game next week. We'll be sure to get things out. That's going to wrap it up for everybody here in North Platte. Everybody's starting to head towards the bus. I want to thank everyone back at the station, especially Josh, for taking care of everything back there and doing everything he was doing. I appreciate all the help. I'm Scott Ulrich. That's the final out here in North Platte. Cedar Catholic wins. 20-7 to seven is your score. And we will send it back to Yankton and everybody at The Current 94.3. The Current 94.3. KDAM. Partington. More of today's hits. Current events brought to you by Mason Schramm with Vision Real Estate. You may be happy in your current date. 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 You